I think I might be looking at a triple stack turtle sandwich over here. Yep, let's uh, let's take a look and see what's going on. Okay, buddies, why are you over here? Let's uh, let's get you off the boat and then let's get under the boat and let's break. Nice. Be free, turtles. Be free. Well, guys, we just hit 6,000 days in this hardcore world. Can't wait to recap the past couple episodes. This camel is still up here on the scaffolding. To celebrate the 6,000 day milestone, I was actually trying to get a little bit of honey. We go one, two, three, and four. We can actually take all of these and make ourselves a honey block. Made our way to the top of the mangrove watchtower, and we are going to attempt to jump down on that honey block, because I'm pretty sure this gives you an achievement. Let's, uh, let's see if we can do it right. Boom. Aha! Alright, well, it turns out you have to jump on the side of it to get the achievement. I thought we were going to get that achievement right away, so let's actually just get two more achievements now. Got ourselves a honeycomb here. Let's get one block of copper to get this done. Honeycomb can wax that on, and we'll take the axe, and we will just wax that off. Two achievements back to back, that's a dub. Since recording the last episode before we reached 6,000 days, we actually had a couple long plays that came out, and I do want to show you guys those real fast. Before we replay some of the episodes, I just wanted to show you some of the new stuff. All of this right here is brand new. We had built the retaining wall first. Everything that you see behind here, it was made with andesite stone, cobblestone, gravel, and a bunch of tough. Also some acacia wood. Then we had taken the time right over here to build ourselves a nice little shipping dock. I don't have any ships in here yet, but we built the shipping docks. We did tidy a little bit of this up on stream as well. And by the way, feel free to join us anytime live on stream. It is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. Next, we'll go right through the village and show you guys the brand new ocean outpost right here that we had made. For a while now, I was thinking that this little area right in between the nether portal and the mob farm was just a little empty, so I just thought, uh, you know, just give us something to look at in between and also something to do. Made almost entirely out of barrels and composters. This thing, uh, it was actually really fun to build. I liked the little cobblestone and andesite block down here. And we are always using hanging signs as the fence now. I am loving the new blocks in this update. Next, we had actually gone all the way over to the other side here, past the nether portal, past the circular wheat field, and over here next to the cocoa bean farm. We have a brand new villager underground transport system that actually gets these guys, the savannah villagers over here. We need to integrate those guys into society. Let's actually fly right past the goat sanctuary and show you guys where they all come from. All the way down yonder, we have a nice little village here, complete with a bunch of free villagers that you can take all the way down here. They don't even like this village, they told me so, and that's why I'm taking them back to mine. And again, thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate the support. And uh, you know what? Why don't we get into the recap? Hi everybody, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to a brand new hardcore episode. We got a lot going on today, because the 1.20 update actually just came out. This season, we have built a lot with the mangrove, using a lot of the 1.19 blocks and 1.18 blocks with the deep slate as well. But now it's time to actually go out on a search for that new cherry blossom biome. I would love to get that pink wood. And we also have that bamboo wood, so I'm actually going to go over to the new bamboo farm that we made and actually grab me a bunch of that. Hopping in over here, let's squeeze on down and get ourselves some bamboo. I haven't been over here since I pretty much started getting this thing running. Need a crafting table, I'm actually just going to throw it in the wall. And and uh, let's go ahead and start making ourselves... Oh, look at that. Brand new blocks of bamboo. What does this even look like? I have... Oh, my goodness. This is great. How quickly is this coming down? Can you use the sword here? You cannot. You have to use the axe. I'm going to take this down. Let's use that. Let's replace the wall. That's going to be kind of cool. We're going to make a bunch of this, actually, because I heard you can place it down and then actually shave it. Oh, my God. This looks like thatch. This is perfect. Can't wait to start building with this stuff, but uh, one thing that I am kind of worried about is the storage in my starter house, so we're going to have to actually make some room for the new types of wood. Everything that we find from the ruins is going to start taking up a lot of space unless we actually make its own storage. That'd be kind of nice. I do want to find that ruin, so we're going to have to do quite a bit of exploring because I have to uh, go pretty far out. We've done a lot of exploring so far, especially out south when we had to go get that wooden mansion. And we are going to fly over Rainbow Mountain. We actually might as well show you guys the progress that we've been making on stream. I have been putting in so much work to try to get this canyon up and running. I have the pink road that we have started working on, and man, it is looking great. I am, oh man, when this canyon is done, uh, this is going to be great. I can't wait to build a bridge that's connecting the two. Standing here on the beach on the other side, just getting a view from this over here, the terrain just looks immaculate. 
So we need to go way past this desert and this mesa because we have already explored this. We need to find some brand new desert villages so we can get some camels. Also, if we can find some desert temples, some desert wells, uh, that'd be really cool to find some suspicious sand. We could uncover it with this brush. We got a mending and unbreaking three on this, so we got a lot of work to do on this guy. See, now this is a village that I've already been to and there's no camel and that makes plenty of sense because the bell's gone too, so I've definitely been here. We're gonna have to keep on going further and further and also so, ooh, this is a savanna, but if we can actually find a taiga, snowy taiga, like an old growth taiga, old growth birch forest, and uh, actually a jungle, any of those, we might be able to find ourselves a brand new ruins. Bada bing, bada boom, we ran right into a jungle. Okay, actually, we if we can get down on the ground, we might be able to find anything. We just have to look for some terracotta. The floor is pretty covered up in the jungle, so you might have to like just burn the jungle down in order to find anything in here. So some of the other biomes are probably a little bit easier to traverse through. Yeah, I mean, it's been a couple minutes. I'm not really having much luck, so we might, you know what, we might just want to get out of here. Let's go ahead and fly this way. And what do you know, we have ourselves a brand new cherry blossom biome. Okay, this is perfect. I'm actually really glad that we stepped in here. We have everything on the ground right here. Look at all of this. Look at it, the pink petals. Oh my god, and you can place these down. I think four per square. Perfect. All right, I'm picking up a lot of these. We got some bees. What's going on, bee? All right, he wants a pink petal. There you go, bud. Do we have a baby bee? We have a baby bee. I am going to get as much cherry wood as I can right here, and then I'm actually just going to get a bunch of saplings. We're going to bring it back home. Probably on stream, we're going to spend a couple hours just replanting saplings over and over so that we can get as much of this as possible. Also, these cherry leaves. Okay, these are going to make great bushes around town. Look at these. These cherry saplings are beautiful. I can't wait to put these all around town. We're going to put the trees back home, as well as put these in the potted plants. Oh, man, this is going to be great. Also, the trees themselves are just like the spore blossoms. Look at all these particles that are falling. Okay, this is awesome. I'm also going to take these bees home. This is just, this is great. Okay, we have an ocean ruin here. I don't know if there might be any suspicious anything here. Actually, what's in here? Okay, an unknown map. I'm gonna take this. Wasn't any suspicious sand over there, but at least we're gonna get some treasure. 999 lined up. Let's get down. Okay, there we go. And perfect. Actually, you know what? Let's just break the chest and actually let's just open the shulker box. Start putting everything in here. Okay, and no more getting distracted. Let's throw that. Let's get out of here and let's find ourselves a desert. And okay, we have ourselves an outpost. Let's actually just take this up here. Sir, you gotta be you gotta be gone. Ow, how did he get me? Hold on, let's take what we can. I'll take this bottle of enchanting. Thank you very much. And we'll just be on our way. Okay, I have n I don't think I've ever seen this. This is a perfect... Oh, there's a couple of them up here. This is a perfect... Wait a second, buddy. You need to be gone. You're gonna ruin the recording. I don't need this. You, know, you need to be out of here, sir. Thank you very much. I have never seen this before. These are some ocean ruins that are just all the way out of the water. It's got some of the- you know what, I'll take the coal and I'm gonna put the sword back because we don't need it. And I actually just heard someone throw a trident at me. Whoa, buddy. I feel like now that you know, since, since he started it, we have to go in and finish it. Hey, buddy. Buddy with the trident? That kind of hurts? Get out of here. Okay, he had a lot of attempts at hurting me. Let's, you know what, let's see what else is over here. We might actually get some cool loot from this. I open this up and see what this is. Okay, actually, it says it's a buried treasure map, but it's just an empty map. I'm sure that that can't be right. Ooh, okay, we actually have some suspicious sand right here. Let's use the brush. Let's open this up. What are we gonna, okay. Dude, we found something. Yes, and we found a wooden hoe. Okay, so let's, uh, oh, buddy, come on, man. We're trying to be archaeologists. You're ruining the vibes. Let's go over here. Let's see what we can get. Is it going to be anything? I hope it's something. A golden nugget. Okay. Well, uh, our luck is proving to be non-existent right now. Ooh, this is actually looking nice. And my last air bubble. Okay, actually, let's breathe real quick. Let's go back down. Let's throw this rotten flesh and let's see what the... Yes. Let's go. Okay, we have a pottery shard. And it's the shelter pottery shard. Let's go. Oh my god, is that what I think it is? This is a sniffer egg. Let's get no way. Okay, we found a sniffer egg. We're getting rid of the hoe. Dude, that's back to back. Okay, let's go. Got some suspicious sand right here. Oh my god, we're just gonna come away with a bunch of stuff. I'm pretty hyped about the sniffer egg and the pottery shards. Let's go, dude. All right, sniffer sanctuary is coming up very soon. And I see why you kind of need some unbreaking on your brush. Maybe with some mending too, because you're gonna end up breaking this. I uncovered this sand, so this tile better be unique. Let's see what we got here. An angler pottery shard. Let's go. Okay, I think this is a new desert because we're out. Okay, okay, this is a brand new... Oh, this is an abandoned village. Okay, tell me there's a camel here. 
It's gonna be a lot of zombie villagers out here. Sir, be gone. Sir, be gone. Okay, you got, there's a lot of them out here. Whoa. Well, this is kind of strange. Uh, I'm, I'm actually looking... Okay, guys, come on now. I'm, I'm looking for a camel. It's been a while since I found an abandoned village like this. I, and there's no camel here. That's too bad. Found another village. Please tell me you have a camel. And okay, this is what I'm looking at. We have a camel. Let's go. Give me, let's saddle up and let's ride. Oh my god, we are on a camel. <laughs> Dude, I love 1.20. Let's go, man. Let's just, let's go. And instead of jumping, you hold space and they will dash like that. Let's go. I don't know how long it's going to take. I could open some nether portals up, but you know what? Let's just ride this guy. I'm just going to soak in this experience and ride this guy all the way back home. Walking through the jungle now. This is a very, very long journey. I'm really hoping I run into random trail ruins up here because... Man, this this journey, we got like 4,000, where where are we actually? We have, yeah, 4,100, negative 4,000, so we got a journey ahead of us. I stopped to sleep for a second, this guy's got to sleep too. Alright buddy, we gotta get up, I'm sorry, ain't no time to rest, we gotta go. Honestly, as of this point right now, I think camels are my new favorite way to get around in Minecraft. This is really fun. They're actually pretty fast, their yeet takes them very far, and uh, you know, they're actually, they're actually pretty useful. I do see something in the distance, yep, that is a shipwreck, let's go. This as quickly as I can, yo, we got some horses here too, look at this, this camel is looking way bigger than these horses, let's go. I don't think camels can swim very well, I'm gonna slide down here and see what's going on. And now that I'm in here, it's looking like we only have one chest. Yo, coast armor trim and some more coast armor trim, let's go completely forgot about the brand new armor trims. I am excited to get back and put these on. To fix you up with the lead, buddy, we're gonna take you home across this ocean. My favorite part about this journey right now is that we're just refusing to use a boat. We're, just, we're swimming. We're swimming across this thing. Got ourselves a desert temple that was buried in the sand. I'm actually just gonna get this, get off this. You know what? You stay here, bud, if you can, please. Let's hop in. And, okay, we got some of this right here. Let's see what we can get. And is it, is this, what is, oh, we got a diamond. Oh, what do you know? Well, would you look at that, Camel? We finally have a good look at Rainbow Mountain. Let's get on down here, and then looks like we're about to be home. All right, it's good to be home. We are on the original Rainbow Mountain, and it's good to have a camel all the way up here. Welcome to your new home, buddy. We have a lot to show you over here. All right, we got the camel back here, and uh, you know what? I think this is a good home for now. We got you right next to this horse. Let's actually just tie you up right over here camel you're just gonna stay until we get another camel and we will don't you worry about that there's also something that i really want to bring out right now we have a sniffer egg up yes there it is okay we have one sniffer egg we're gonna plant it look at this this thing is huge and i cannot wait for the sniffer before we go back looking for that trail ruin i really kind of want to i want to use an armor trim so let's see what we can do so we have the netherite armor here let's go ahead and throw this in we have the armor trim can we throw a diamond in we can look at that okay that's pretty cool dang look at these boots all right let's throw these on can we do this to the pants as well we absolutely can let's do it to the helmet right here Okay, let's throw these guys on. We are looking good. Look at that. Dang, not too bad. And this is only the first trim that we've found, so we're going to have plenty more. And this is also kind of an incentive to make a lot more types of netherite armor. We even had to upgrade the chest plate real quick. I want to see what this looks like. You know what? That's pretty cool. These armor trims are a great idea. And earlier today on a live stream, we were talking about that in a future update, what they should do is actually add the ability to upgrade your tools so we can have unique tools. This guy is just in the way. Sir, are you going to leave? You Okay, absolutely in the way. Thank you very much. And he's going back in. All right. And now I feel like we can leave. Let's go ahead and uh, let's go find one of those trail ruins. I really want to find one of those. A couple thousand blocks away again but this time we're back in the jo oh wait hey we got some pandas over here what's going on pandas how you doing good to see you guys you guys know john i got john back at home if you guys want to ever want to visit john you certainly can i'm looking for a little bit of terracotta maybe some sand sticking out of the ground not much luck in the snowy taiga here but we do have a lot of these abandoned portals that we keep running into not complaining these are decent finds i like the crying obsidian but i really we, we need to find this got a regular taiga over here nothing much but a bunch of sheep so we actually went live and after a little over an hour we finally found something spectacular bada bing bada boom we have ourselves a terracotta that's sticking out over here and we can finally move everything out of the way let me tell you if you guys haven't looked for one of these trail ruins yet oh my god like the, the jungle is a terrible place to look for them i think these taigas in the old growth birch forest those might be the best place 
Most of the land is just covered up and it's just, yeah, man, it can take a while, especially if you're looking in the jungle. Got ourselves a mighty fine looking beacon right here and we got that because I don't exactly know how much excavating we're going to have to do. I've seen other videos of people excavating this, but I'm not entirely sure how big it actually is. We're going to have to move these spruce trees to get out of the way, sir. You're going to have to be gone. This thing just keeps going. We got red, white, brown, and black glazed terracotta. Oh my god, we have some purple over What is going on? Finally found ourselves some suspicious sand. Let's see what we got. Oh, perfect. It is a... Okay, what is it? Let's see. Okay, friend pottery shard. Let's go. And the mud bricks have started exposing themselves here. Oh my god, and it goes all the way back. This thing is never ending. Looks like another one has revealed it. Okay, let's see what we got. What tile pattern is this one gonna be? Another friend pottery shard. Not bad, but I'm actually kind of looking for that warden pottery shard. That one actually kind of... I think that one looks the coolest, in my opinion. And, whoa, we have a smithing, wayfinder armor trim, let's go. I have a feeling we're gonna get a lot of loot from this thing here, so we're gonna probably set up a couple barrels, couple chests, and we are actually really far away. We're at like 5,165, 3,303, so we're probably gonna have to set up another portal to get ourselves to and from pretty quickly. And what do you know? Let's see what we got here. Reveal yourself, sir. Reveal yourself. I am really getting in some archaeology hours here. Is this just blue dye? What is this? Okay. Everywhere I turn, we got a brand new one. Okay. Let's see what we got here. Come on now. Is this just going to be another friend one? It is. We really done one side. We have two new types of pottery shards and smithing template. Let's go. Finally started excavating under the beacon. We might actually have to go in a little bit further. And I can't believe all of this started just from that one little red terracotta. Because all of this down here is what we just excavated excavated i'm gonna keep on excavating up here we actually spent about four hours almost on stream just getting this part right here and we're not even done because we have a road that this leads to keep pushing back and i keep finding more cobblestone actually if i can just go in here right now and actually i see this let's actually bring something up what do we got a new tile shard let's go what do we got right now we have three explorer pottery shards mourner pottery shard and a plenty pottery shard but yeah this thing is absolutely massive if we actually take a step back it's been a while since i've done this we have okay i mean we've we've excavated quite a bit but there's still so much left to do we have a lot of purple rooms that we've excavated and i think there's actually a couple more mud brick rooms yep over right over here you can see that uh, I just started uncovering this on stream before I had to go. Actually, I'm seeing that there's something that we can uncover right here. Let's see what's here. Is this just a candle? I'm seeing that there's a lot of candles. Keep on moving back this way and keep on uncovering the terracotta. It just keeps going, man. It just, it actually never ends. Inventory is running out pretty quickly nowadays because uh, we have a lot of suspicious gravel that we've been uncovering and we have a lot of these double chests already filled up, but we're going to keep doing it. It's going to look real nice once this is all cleaned up. Actually, you know what? We need to clean up this corner still. Let's get all of this out of here. Get a little bit of mending with that lapis. And I think with the thing right here, we are done. Corner here. We just got to keep moving left a little bit and clean all of this up. We actually had to put some torches down here, as you can see, because we had some creepers and skeletons that were spawning. And that's the, you know, the last thing that we need. We just, we don't need any creepers blowing anything up because I don't know what this looks like from memory. So I would not be able to put it back together. We must continue. There is too much to be done as we're finishing up excavating that side over there and it's just it's a lot man it's a lot of work i'm trying to actually take a small break and try to figure out what to decorate the outside with so i actually think what i'm going to do is obviously use some spruce and we'll actually strip that but we have a brand new block type and this is the hanging sign if i put this over here these actually make pretty good fence material so i'll put that right there and you know what that's not too bad i am going to love 1.20 with every single new episode there is too much to enjoy all right i'm really hoping that this sidewalk down here doesn't keep going but there's only one real way to find out hey we found another one already and what do you know it's some stained glass and we were not gonna be able to survive without this stained glass so i'm actually glad we found it this thing is enormous man it just keeps on going i'm surprised it stopped i honestly for a while thought it was never going to stop but we finally got it to stop right here i got three blocks of space on each side of this uh, to give myself some room i'm gonna actually put support beams with all of these spruce logs on all of the sides Probably use this middle beam as an entrance, or if we go over here, past the scaffolding, we'll actually use this 2x2 two two as an entrance. And the scaffolding is actually just here because I thought it would look kind of cool, and chat on the live stream actually kind of came up with this idea uh, with the scaffolding here, just to kind of hold up the structure so it's not just levitating there. And if this were an archaeological dig site in real life, you'd probably see some scaffolding holding up some old structures. This thing right here had no shortage of materials also. If you check this out over here, we had 
12 double chests completely filled up with everything that we excavated. We have a bunch of cobblestone, a bunch of stone, and a bunch of other dirt, grass, and a bunch of other ores. We also have a large chest almost completely filled up with a bunch of stuff that we found in the suspicious gravel. We have this new music diff, Aaron Sheroff with Relic, and so we found some spruce hanging signs. Found a bunch of candles and also a bunch of smithing templates for a bunch of new armor trims and a bunch of pottery shards. We happen to find five wooden hoes, so if anyone's out there looking for wooden hoes, uh, your, your lucky day is uh, upon you when you find one of these things. I also like what we got going on over here. We have these stripped spruce columns going all the way down with the hanging signs as a part of the wall. Normally I would use gates, but these hanging signs, I mean, since we got them, we might as well use them. The only thing is to create them, you kind of have to get a bunch of stripped logs, and that is a little bit difficult, because you have to just place them and strip them all manually. I think getting more support beam type blocks on the side is going to be nice as well. So I'm actually about to run out of spruce very, very soon, so I think I might actually have to fly back. And flying back, oh god, what is that? There's got to be a cave over here. I hear a bunch of skellies. But yeah, I'm pillaring up, and uh, we still have like 10 more pillars to make, and I'm out of spruce, and I don't really feel like tearing down more of the forest. We have a bunch of spruce wood already taken down. All I have to do is go back, and we have another portal right here. This thing was abandoned, and I actually just filled it up with all of the obsidian that I had on me. Let's go ahead and actually turn this thing into a brand new nether portal and see if it can take us back home a lot quicker. I'm jumping through right now. I have no gold pants. Uh, okay, this is kind of a dangerous little area. I immediately fell into the lava. This is great. Okay, why why is this happening? We have a get sir. Come on now. Why are you doing this to me? Come on. I don't want to do this. Let's all right. All right, you want to play? Let's go. This guy wants to play catch. There you go, sir. See you later. I actually don't think we're that far from home. I'm gonna glide this way just a bit. I think we can actually fly over here and find our road. Couple rockets later, and we have officially found our nether highway. Okay, and as you can see, the continuity mod I actually do still have off because it's not updated yet, but we'll get it fixed as soon as it's updated. Back at the Strider Sanctuary. What's up, guys? How you doing? Episode 36, homies. I hope it's been treating you well. Climbing back up into our little nether hub, though, for now, just to get a little bit of these stone slabs and some ice. Back at it. Let's go ahead and just take this guy out, and we can officially start a road, like, right here. It's gonna be so amazing having these two nether portals connected, because we'll finally not have to fly so much in the overworld. It's only, like, 400 blocks distance in here. I was actually thinking if we just went right back into the nether highway itself and started breaking the glass, we could actually just continue this hallway right here. There's definitely no rules that say we can't do that, and there's also no rules that say we can't get these guys out of here. You guys were not invited. Break this down, we'll be sliding with the boat in no time. Almost done placing the buttons here. I forgot how much fun it is making another highway. We got this hooked up. My little uh, shield from the ghast right here. But yeah, now instead of taking 10 minutes to get back home, we're only taking about 30 seconds unless we hit the wall right there, which means we definitely need to get the glass over here. Definitely got to get the barrier on this because a lot of the magma cubes keep spawning over here and we definitely need more rockets. So let's go back home and get there as quickly as we can. Love how we just built a highway and we're still using our elytra to get all the way here, but uh, here we are. Gotta get some end rods here on the bottom to help get some more light. Also, we can't forget our handy dandy trap doors helping out with the decoration here. Gotta beep up these columns here, otherwise who knows, maybe they might collapse. I can see trap doors that I almost forgot right here. Can I, can I get up? Let, let me up here, please. There we go. Okay, yeah, we gotta, we gotta fill this spot in. Oh man, alright, and we have some missing azaleas, so I'm actually glad I came up here, otherwise those probably would have been missing in the thumbnail. I'm thinking some buttons never hurt nobody, let's get these thrown up here. I also need to get rid of the scaffolding over here, so let's start tearing this down. I actually do believe we have some areas over here where the scaffolding is not even put up. Aha, yeah. Yeah, let's actually put you right here. Let's make sure that all of this is being held up. Slide one right there, right there on the corner. We'll go here and there and perfect. Ooh, almost forgot right here too. Let's go up right there and boom. And as we're trying to clean up this area, I'm thinking just some lanterns on some fences is just a little bit more decorative than the torches for now. And it keeps the floor a little bit lit. Nothing too fancy down here. After all, this is an archaeological dig site, so it doesn't necessarily need to be too big. Some lanterns on the ground every now and then actually would be kind of cool too. And if you're wondering how we're going to get out of here after taking all the scaffolding out, we actually have ourselves a nice little bubble elevator over here with a way to get down here, too. This is actually going to take you right up to the pathway that we built. A lot of oak planks in the middle with some spruce buttons. we got the chisel blocks on each side. This dock right here, we're actually using the hanging signs instead of the fences again. And you know what? We're going to put some bushes right up here to make this place a little bit more green. 
Okay, looks like we got an arctic fox right here trying to take a swim. What are you doing over here, dude? Why why are you doing this? Is he going after something? Are you going after a fish? Is he he must have gone after Oh, he's going fishing. He literally has a salmon in his mouth. Everybody eats, man. Everybody eats. There's another one right here. Oh, he's fishing. Where's I net? I did not know that foxes could do this. They just fish. Behind the smoldering campfires and the ferns down here, we actually have a nice little archaeological dig. And I'm loving the retaining wall here. It's actually looking pretty decent. And everything on the floor is lit. But the one thing that I'm concerned about is the retaining wall back here. I think we might need to break up a lot of this and kind of replace it with... I actually have it on me already, but some cobblestone. I think what we need to do is actually get some of these stone bricks in the wall as well. These are always going to make the wall look a little bit more man-made. To kind of top off the end over here, we'll put a couple of the walls down. And also, if we can jump up, maybe putting some of these flowering azaleas every once in a while is not a bad idea. I'm going to go ahead back here, clear up some space to plant some cherry trees in the background. And I will say, I think this build might be complete. I'm going to have to go ahead and take this beacon out. But this thing has been fully excavated. I'm loving this. These new, like, fully generated, like, structures in this game are amazing. Like, this is completely naturally generated. I'm loving this. But that is going to be it for episode 37. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Thank you for joining on all the Twitch streams, and thank you for the patience on this episode. I know it took a couple of weeks. I was gone for a little bit, but hey, you know what? Better late than never. Hi, everybody. Welcome back to a brand new episode of the Hardcore Series. I actually have a sniffer right behind me. He's sniffing some stuff out right now. What are you, gra what are you grabbing, dude? Why is he why are you sniffing stuff? This guy is just constantly sniffing. I mean, look at these nose animations. They're just constantly moving up and down. Whoa, that's a big sniff. Honestly, kind of up close, they look like a big green and red and yellow dog. Gonna walk this guy past our trusty camel, and actually, what's going on, camel? How you doing? Oh, he's just lay- the sniffer is so big, man. This- what's going on, camel? How you doing? He's actually- he's just chilling. I can't wait to make a camel sanctuary, too. I mean, today we're probably gonna focus mainly on the sniffer, but I wanted to bring it to this side of town because this is where our custom cherry forest is gonna go. This isn't custom yet, I just planted a bunch of cherry trees for right now because I need a lot of wood. We actually have a double chest and almost another double chest already filled up. These things make so many saplings when you tear them down. Also, we got a bunch of leaves also because, you know, I mean, they're gonna be great for decoration. Okay, and this guy, what is- I actually have not seen this yet. What did you just bring up? What did I just get? A torch flower seed. Yes, okay. Okay, I think you need this to breed them, but uh, can you plant them as well? Sir, I'm gonna hook you up right here. Just chill and stay chillin'. I'm gonna go to the water real quick because uh, I think we can just use the hoe, make a nice little garden plot here, and plant the torch fl Oh my god, look at that. Okay, I cannot wait for the torch flowers. Oh man, this is gonna be great. We also have pitcher plants that I'd like to get as well. There is too much in this update, man. So I do want to make more sniffers because more sniffers means infinite torch flowers and uh, more torch flowers means a happy wax fraud. So let's go ahead and uh, get more sniffers. We gotta get more sniffer eggs, so we gotta go ahead and explore in order to do all of that. But before we go exploring, what I wanted to do is show the new 1.20 gold boar. This is just like the other one, but we made it out of birch and cherry wood. So you might see some stuff that other people are doing as well because it's just some basic stuff for the new update that I just want in this world but I want the sniffer sanctuary the camel sanctuary flower petal farm also the new library with the chiseled bookshelves an armory with all of the new trims a bamboo house completely made out of the bamboo and the stripped bamboo I also wanted to do a pot museum with all the new types of sherds that you can find a custom cherry blossom grove that's going to go right here as soon as I take all of these out I'm going to start replanting them I might do a long play as well because if you add spore blossoms add other flowers and stuff you can turn it into a crazy cool biome and not to say that it's not because i mean these pink flowers falling from the trees are great but uh, i could be more and then we have the hanging sign storage the hanging signs unfortunately they uh they only have 16 per spot instead of 64 so they're gonna take up a lot of space in the storage so i was thinking we might have to just uh we might have to just make a new building walk inside here and this is the loot from the last episode we have blocks of bamboo we have all of the sherds and the smithing template for the armor trims but these hanging signs i mean look at them they don't i mean it could be 64 but instead it's 16 so i think we need to make a new storage space for them and speaking of the storage spaces i have a new one right here for the pitcher plant that's going to go here the torch flowers can go here i have the pink petals already in place and the wood if we go over here i actually took the nether wood and I'll, I'll show you where i put that new storage but i have the cherry wood that i'll bring all over here and the bamboo wood that i'll bring up here as well the nether wood i actually brought over here i thought it would only make sense because this is the nether wood farm so if we walk over i have a double chest now filled up with the wood that i gather from this area i figured you know what since we gather it here might as well just leave it here 
And I haven't been in here for a while, but you know, we might as well gather some wood while we're chilling here. And also, before we go out exploring, there's one thing, actually maybe three things that I wanted to do real quick, and that is get some villagers unstuck on stream. And by the way, twitch.tv slash waxfraud if you want to join anytime on stream. We do stream every single day. But we have these guys. They are stuck. Like, what are you doing here, sir? He's just constantly, he's vibing. He's at literally vibrating, and uh, I'm just going to set him free. He's been here for a couple episodes. If I fly across town, there's actually one more spot where people got stuck. And actually, this is a good time to show you. I started planting some of the cherry trees around town, and they are looking fantastic. Ooh, new beehives, too. But the cherry trees, I just started planting saplings here and there and seeing what would happen if they grew. And they bring so much more life to the areas. I love this. A little bit of pink here and there really brings out the details and pretty much everywhere in the town. But if we actually hop back over here towards the back of the cartography table, we have some villagers that seem to have gotten stuck. I don't know what it is about these flower pots with the azaleas or propagules, but uh, they, they get stuck. This guy's stuck. We have this guy right here. He's stuck. This guy over here is stuck. We even have a guy over here that's stuck. And no one, is, no one seems to be stuck in the one where I forgot to put a potted plant. So I guess what we'll have to do is take these potted plants out. They don't need to be there anyways. And if people are just going to get stuck, we don't need to be using people as decoration. These villagers can go out, reintegrate themselves into society and, uh, and you know, have a nice life. Go on, sir. Go back home. Be a fisherman. Be a farmer. Do Oh, no, he just wants to sleep. And real quick, before we head out thousands of blocks for some sniffer eggs, I think I want to show you guys what we did on the last episode. We'll head through the nether portals. I'm really happy that we actually spent a lot of time making the nether highway extension over here so that we can just get to that uh, trail ruins in a matter of about like two minutes instead of a ten minute flight. Pulling up already. That guy better not hop down. Let's hop in here. And we are here. So uh, if you guys haven't had the chance to excavate one of these yet, I would do so. Because there is a lot of loot here. And it gives you the chance just to go ahead and take a step back and look at the naturally generated structures of the 1.2 update. This thing was very fun to build and excavate. I loved doing the retaining wall on the outside. And thank you for chilling on the streams that we did build this on. So I really appreciate you guys for joining. Using all these hanging signs as the wall is something that I really want to keep doing. And oh man, I, I honestly just want to find more of these because all of that loot was really fun to gather. Flying back home real quick, going to the Strider Sanctuary from episode 36. I know I hadn't uh, actually named any of these guys yet. And you guys actually put a lot of fun names in the comment. But one really stuck out and that is Sammy. So Samuel the Strider is going to be in this world. We'll keep naming him, but I think this guy right here is Samuel. He looks like a Samuel, doesn't he? He's shaking his head no, like he doesn't want to be Samuel, but I, th I think he looks like a Samuel. I'm going to head out of here, though, because there's one more thing that we got to name as well. And this was a name that was thrown out on stream for one of the camels. And I don't know why, I just thought it was funny, and it, it hit me right in the funny bone. And uh, so I'm going to do it. And we have Cameraman the Camel. You, sir, are, are going to be our number one camel. We got to find more so that we can make more camels. Also, while we're back home, before we go out on the road, there's like, look at this, host armor trim. What's Wayfinder armor trim? Let's use this. I have the golden pants that I take to the nether every time, but I don't have any decoration on them. Let's use the quartz. What if we do this right here? That, oh, that's pretty cool. Hold on, let's take a look and see. Man, I am loving all of these armor trims. Now we can be in style when we go to the nether. And you know, while I'm flying out here, I was just thinking, some of those armor trims are pretty hard to find. Like, I think you have to go to some bastions. I think you can go to the jungle temple to find some. But I'm pretty sure you also have to go find an ancient city. And uh, there is just a small chance of finding an armor trim there, which is great. I haven't even been to an ancient city yet, so we'll see about that one. Flying over something here. Let's go down. There might be a little bit of suspicious sand or suspicious gravel down here. You're in the way, sir. You don't need to be here. You as well, be gone. There are so many drowned. Every time you come down here, I swear, there's just like 10 of them. Now we can do archaeology in peace. Let's, uh, come on, give me some sniffer eggs here. Suspicious sand right here. Is this gonna be some hay? Okay, yeah, I'll take some hay. Suspicious sand. Oh, is this a sniffer egg already? Oh my god, this is the third time's a charm, I guess. More suspicious sand down here. I kind of just want to, there might be some armor trims, actually, and some sherds that we haven't found yet. I'm just surprised at how fast we found that. I thought sniffer eggs were supposed to be rare. Coming back from a long Twitch stream, very long journey, we ended up going through maybe five or six different ocean ruin sites that we found. Got two sniffer eggs right here, as you can see. We only needed one, but we ended up getting two. We also have a bunch of sherds and coast armor trims that we found. I need to go bring those back to the house to organize. I was told on stream that actually if you place the sniffer eggs on moss, then they grow a little bit faster. So I'm going to place them here. This guy, uh, keep doing what you're doing. And what? The, oh my god, okay, we have a pitcher pod. Today could not be getting any better. Better. Let's go ahead and just place this guy here. Can we bone meal these up? I think yes, we can. 
That's a torch flower. Let's go. Man, I wish we could bone meal these just to make them multiply, but we cannot do that. Wait, can we make this grow? We can. We have a pitcher plant and we have a torch flower. So I'm actually starting to really love the ocean ruins journeys that we've been going on because there's also a lot of sunken ships where we can find buried treasure maps. Go get that buried treasure. There's a lot of loot here, man. We ended up finding an amethyst cluster too. We have a bunch of calcite and all of these sherds right here. There's We got a bunch of loot. I'm just, I'm really happy about it. And while I'm waiting for these guys to grow, I'm actually thinking we need to take some cherry logs out. I would like to, actually, that's a lot of cherry logs. We definitely don't need that many, but I'd like to, what is going on here? I just heard a crack out of the egg. That is, oh my god, this one's cracking too. That's crazy. While these are continuing to crack a little bit longer, I'd like to go search for the perfect spot to put the sniffer sanctuary. Trying to sniff out the best location possible. We could go behind this cliff that we had built, or we could go over on this brand new beach. And actually, I'd completely forgotten that we had this over here. So uh, we have every single wood type lined up. We have the both of the nether woods. We have birch, acacia, dark oak, and oak. We have the spruce, jungle. We have the mangrove logs, bamboo, and and the cherry. I'm wondering if there's any tutorials for any like automatic log stripping machines. That would be kind of cool. But I guess until someone makes it, we're just going to be chilling here, stripping everything we possibly can because uh, those hanging signs, man, those are really important. And I am for sure going to be using cherry hanging signs on this next build. So the cherry stripped logs are very much necessary. Take some big hops over this way. I think we're going to end up using this space in between the bamboo farm and the dragon egg shrine to do the sniffer sanctuary. And actually, now that I'm thinking about it, the dragon egg shrine, I don't even know if I ever showed it off on camera for the let's play. I did this in a long play while I was gone. There's actually a few long plays that I don't even know if I showed off. Get our handy dandy water bucket over here to help us clear all this out. We'll go one over here and we'll go two over here. Well, all right, we got a little bit of a space cleared out. Let's uh, let the building begin. Let's, I don't want to do a mini tower kind of by the Dragon Egg Shrine. We go over here just to kind of get a little bit of a layout going for a pink of a base here. And then I'm going to use oak logs for the outside, how we always put logs on the outside. This time I'm going to do pink in the middle. And uh, if we strip the logs, I think it'll, yeah, this is going to be a good color. Now there's a small dilemma because I have all, I mean, I know the cherry wood and the oak wood. I think they do look good together. Uh, some might say not, but I think they look pretty good. If you put a little bit of birch in there too, I think that's a little bit of good contrast. Two kind of neutral types of wood on the pink background. The gray of the stone bricks and the cobblestone I think looks really good. But then also the cobbled deep slate is kind of a good mixture of the two. So I'm kind of, I think they all look good, but I'm not sure which one of these stones I like using more on the roof. I guess there's only one way to find out though, so let's, uh, I guess let's just build the initial, like, simple part of the structure, and then we'll get a fencing system up around here so the sniffers can go inside and outside. The sniffing has officially tripled. We have a big sniffer here, and we got two little baby sniffers here, and the baby sniffers are actually pretty big. I mean, not compared to the big ones, though. As we turn around, though, we do have a little bit of a structure. We've been working on a live stream to get this done here, and I decided, you know what? Roof for the deep slate and the bottom foundation for the regular stone. I figured, why not go ahead and use both? But we're going to go ahead real quick and get some of the glass right down here. And after stripping all that wood, we finally got enough hanging signs to go ahead and make a wall with these. So I think I'm going to use the cherry hanging signs. Taking a step back here real quick, and you know what? I actually really like that. And actually on this side, we do have a little bit of a moss bridge that we've started making. I think what I'm going to do is take this floor out and uh, actually just make it a taller ceiling for the sniffers down here. Because actually, uh, the only way to get in there, I'm going to make an entrance into this little tower here. You go up a ladder, go across the moss bridge, and then you can kind of look at them from above. These sniffers are actually going to go down here. And when they get pitcher plant pods and the torch flower seeds, then I'm going to have a hopper system that collects everything. But before we start working on the interior redstone components, I actually would like to get some of this exterior finished here. Let's actually hop over. Let's get some deep slate on this roof so we can get this done here. Start working our way up slowly. Actually, I ended up making the roof a little bit uh, steeper than I thought I was going to. Let's go ahead and finish up these spruce buttons over here. I think I'm actually going to use the collected torch flowers and put them on the roof over here because it is the sniffer sanctuary after all. And these torch flowers look amazing. I made a tiny little farm, and uh, also the pitcher plants are over there as well. We have a bunch of pitcher pods, torch flower seeds to replant over here, because these sniffers, they once you have more than two, like they just start, it, they just start pumping them out. A creeper accidentally, uh, you know, he, he he came over here and exploded, kind of ruined the good times uh, just a little bit. And uh, we're gonna have to replenish half of the torch flowers that we had. Let's take all of these out real quick, and let's grab these pitcher plants. The pitcher pods are crazy. I mean, this right here looks like a plant, but this kind of just looks like a faded eyeball. Get these planted also. I actually wanted to run over here because uh, I have some pitcher plant ideas and some torch flower ideas. 
And I am still just so hyped that we have a new tall flower here. And dude, these snippers are so loud. But this tall flower, the pitcher plant, is it's just perfect. I love it. And these torch flowers, when they go on the pots here, they look stunning. They are most definitely my new favorite flower at the moment. We really got to finish this roof here on the side tower. And I think I'm going to top it off with the cherry wood. Actually, wait. While I have it on me, I totally forgot. I have it right in my hot bar here. I have the verdant frog lights that I brought over for a little bit of light on this bridge. It's going to look a little bit weird under it, but I might just cover that up with some trap doors. But right on top here... Oh, man, if I can jump up there. I, I Apparently, I can't jump up there. But right on top... Oh, there we go. It's going to look kind of... I like that. It's going to brighten up the sides here. Also, more torch flowers, because why not? This is coming together. We have the deep slate, the stone, the cherry wood, the spruce, and the oak. And now the birch all coming together to make a pretty solid build. I also forgot. We should actually... You know what? Let's just go down here right now we need to make a little bit of a staircase dude these guys are so loud man but we need to make a staircase going down here because uh we need to make a big hopper system like a big hopper system this entire area right in here it's going to be covered in i think we're going to have to have like at least two stacks of hoppers going in probably have a chest system that'll drop us off right about here let's head on down and clear this out i don't have another beacon over here for haste two at the moment but honestly it's okay let's just go back to our roots and just do some regular mining for a moment Started planting the pitcher pods in here too. These guys are just sniffing everything up here that they absolutely can. I'm going to run over here to the storage system where everything's getting collected and brought over to. Everything in the field in the inside here is getting brought over here. So far we got six pitcher pods and four torch flower seeds. Not too bad. Let's go back outside. I am really enjoying making more sniffers. So let's go here. You guys make some sniffers. Get me a sniffer egg right there. And then how about you and you make another sniffer egg? That'd be really cool if you did. Let's go ahead and get some of these sniffer eggs on the inside where the redstone is actually going to be spending most of its time bringing it over to the storage. I'm excited to be able to use pink petals as decoration too because we can go through and just put a pink petal here and there and then actually run back with the bone meal and we can multiply it up up to I think four blocks. Yeah, you can do four times on each block. Pink petals are amazing. They just add flowers and spots that you didn't know you needed them in. This guy is... Oh god, I, can, I forgot to even... Okay, get back in there. What are you doing? So get over there. Get Thank you very much. Let's take this down. We need more fence gates. Looks like you can also just spam the bone meal in here. This is kind of crazy looking and a very fast way of getting the pink petals. Got some pink petals up in here too. It looks like this thing is still going strong. I'm going to go ahead and close this up for good. Taking a look back and I am actually noticing, okay, we have some spruce buttons that we did not place and that actually might be it for the rest of the build because I don't know what else we missed. Hop over here, let's get that guy, and hop over here, let's get that guy. I used a little bit of the fire and the glowstone on the roof here to get some light. We used pretty much everything that we could, and actually, I am. this is making me so excited because we have these builds that are creeping up over here on this end, and I have been waiting for the buildings to get over here because I can build a nice little harbor over here in a brand new long play, and that is, oh man, I am hyped for that. I think we can actually take down the beacon and we have basically every sign ready to go. Yeah, we're going to need to make a brand new hanging sign storage. Let's take down this beacon too because it's uh, pretty much in the way. I th Actually, as soon as I said that, I remember there is one thing that I wanted to put on the roof and that's some of these leaves here. I have some of the cherry leaves and I would like to start incorporating these onto any of the cherry roofs. Slap ourselves down on the roof. So the cherry leaves, I kind of just wanted to just like every once in a while with one of these stairs, just replace it with a leaf to make it seem like it's kind of overgrown. Grown. Hey, and the leaves are not looking too bad. I like that little detail, especially with those torch flowers up here too. I'm really liking this build with the cherry leaves and cherry wood. I'm just, ah oh man, I'm just still really hyped on this update. And I didn't even realize the eggs hatched. We got a little baby sniffer right here. They really do go quick with the moss. I think what I'm going to do is actually take this guy and kind of just drag him on in here because I think it's I think it's just necessary. I can't believe this is real. This is such a crazy update and this sanctuary for the sniffers is just man, I I like I can't believe this is in our world. That is going to be it though for this episode guys. I do appreciate it. Next episode we are going to tackle a home for those camels. But thanks again for watching. I do appreciate y'all. Thank you for coming along on the Twitch streams. It is twitch.tv slash waxrod if you want to come anytime. We do stream every single day. Man these striders are huge. They keep getting in the way of the camera. But guys I just really do appreciate y'all. Thank you for the support. Everybody waxrod here and welcome back to a brand new episode of the hardcore series. We are chilling here with both of our camels now. Actually we have camel number one and cameraman the camel. This guy's got a name so 
episode this guy's camel number one until you guys decide to give him a name so leave a comment down below rise cameraman let's go all right so you eat a cactus and you eat a cactus let's see if we can get a baby camel going i don't think i've seen a baby whoa their heads are backwards and we got a baby camel where are you at oh there he's laying down immediately baby camel let's go actually where are you going bud hold up hold up get back here let's let's get you like tied up over here and uh, let's get you tied up over here as well get back on cameraman we got a little family of camels as you can tell we are going to be working on the camel sanctuary so you know what let's go ahead and preemptively get this sign off the goal board here for the 1.20 goals we already did a sniffer farm so let's go ahead and get that off we still have a lot of work to do there are so many things to do for this new update and of course before we get to any building there's going to be some shenanigans that we have to get up to there's a couple things that i thought were pretty funny so first things first let's walk over to the well and of course it starts raining as soon as we walk over here but uh, here's a well that we have here and uh, it is now a villager collector i guess we have one two three four five I think six and we do have seven eight back here yeah so that's also a cow an iron golem and is that a chicken yes that's a chicken all right so this is okay this is crazy thinking i'm just gonna leave these guys here until it becomes a lag issue i uh, you know what this is more funny than it is an actual issue you guys just stay here and uh, keep on collecting i think uh, you guys are doing a great job there's a couple things that i also wanted to get taken care of for the 1.20 update and uh, it's not necessarily on the goal board but it's something that we could get taken care of and uh, yeah these are actually all the hanging signs we will get a storage room built for all of these we have way too many and i don't really have room in this house but what i'm talking about are all of these pottery shirts we have most of them collected but i think there's still a couple of them to get i haven't been to a new desert well and i think we also need to collect more from desert pyramids or desert temples i always call them desert pyramids i think there's a total of 20 pottery shirts and we have i believe 14 so let's go ahead and fly out and uh, go ahead and find us a new desert there's bound to be one out here but it's gonna it's gonna be a couple thousand blocks out but no worries uh, it's a couple rockets away we should honestly bring some obsidian with with us actually we, we have some yeah we got some in here some obsidian will be great we'll make a new nether portal and we'll get there nice and quick with some new highways made it into a brand new town with a brand new camel what's going on dude how you doing yeah we actually don't have a lead with us to be able to bring you anywhere so uh we're actually just gonna keep you here we're gonna make a new camel situation back home i am gonna take all of the hay in this town though this hay is most definitely mine it does not need to be here I am glad we found a new desert though. This one is absolutely huge and it actually looks like we have a giant lush cave under here. Okay, I'm looking for this desert on stream and I sure am glad we found it because of stuff like this. We have a giant crescent cave shape right here. This thing is just a giant horseshoe and there's trees that go down in here. It's basically a giant lush cave. We got axolotls chilling right here. What's up, dude? Actually, I'll take you home with me. We got a bunch of coal, a bunch of clay down here. We can float on down. Giant lush cave. This is cool. Looking for the wells, I actually cannot find them. We got a village right here, and it does seem like we have a desert temple that it's kind of hidden in the sand. Let's make our way down in here. You know, something's going to be, you know, sometimes there's a creeper and sometimes there's not. Our first culprit ready. Oh, it's a shard immediately. Let's go. The archer pottery shard. Yes. Okay. We don't have that one yet. Got to get the loot from the desert temple also. Let's see what we got here. Oh, smithing dune armor trims. Let's go. Okay. I am super happy that we came down here. Okay. I feel like I'm getting kind of lucky here because in the distance, Distance, I spotted a jungle temple even through this cloudy rainy mess here. We also found a well right down here. So I'm going to take some archaeology right down here. What do we got? Spotted the suspicious sand right down here. Let's go. Is there a pottery shirt? What did I just pick up? A suspicious stew? Okay, let's drink this. It can only be good. I'm going to dig around this too just in case because I only found that one suspicious sand. So I'm not... I would like to find something else. Well, I'm glad we looked because we found one right under here. Please be a pottery shirt. Is this another suspicious stew? It is. Okay. It looks like we found... Uh, what, what is this one going to be? I'm going to go around one more time because uh, suspicious stew is... It's, it's cool, but I would like to have some more armor trims. In that case, we're actually going to fly right over to the jungle temple because I think there's some different armor trims in here as well. So I'm just going to start busting through this place here. Just bust down the walls, bust open this redstone here, look in the chest. Okay, there's nothing there. What do we got over here? Nothing? Well, I'm at least going to take these sticky pistons because why not found another temple to fall into and we got ourselves some suspicious sand oh assured right away dude let's go glad we dug down a little bit because i ended up finding a little bit more suspicious sand here is this a diamond i think that's the first time i found a diamond here we got one right here as well let's pull this guy out what do you got for me is that just gunpowder 
Looks like we got another guy here. Let's take him out. Cleared out a whole space here, but is anything... I don't think anything's under it like the other one. Well, at least we can go to the side on this big tube in the middle here. Break a couple more out, and we'll be... Yep, there we go. We are already right here. Got my eyes on a well all the way out here. Let's go. Got my handy-dandy brush out. Let's see what we got here. Please be something good. Do these wells only give you suspicious stew? You gotta be kidding me. And now I'm stick. This is great. Going down for one more. Is it, let me guess. Oh, never mind. It's a pottery shirt. The brewer pottery shirt. Let's go. Flying up. Hey, we got another camel here. It looks like we got a bunch of these villages right next to the temples. Let's fly around here. Get some torches up. Please, no creepers. Let's not break anything this time. Let's just get some... Ooh, a shirt right away. Let's go. A prize pottery shirt. All right. I think we're getting everything that we don't have. And we found the staircase over here. This is perfect. We got five new ones here today. We got the archer, the skull, prize, miner, and the brewer pottery shirts. This is fantastic. Got a beautiful little mangrove swamp hidden right in the middle of this desert. I actually like that a lot. I love it when they do that. You get a nice little surprise in the vast emptiness. Found yet another temple. Let's go ahead and excavate this one too. I love how you can just pull TNT from the ground too. We have all these dune armor trims, all the new pottery sherds, all the new diamond horse armor. Let's go. We have three more of those, too, by the way, that we got from the uh, desert temples. And, man, I, I always forget how much I love getting the loot from those. Even before this update, the loot was good. But I'm here in this desert village to say goodbye to one camel and one camel only, sir. It's good to see you. I like the smile on your face, but I'm going to go back home and take care of the camels that are back there. Let's go ahead and make them a sanctuary. Ooh, I'm seeing some of the Rainbow Mountain here, which is a good sign. That actually means that we're close to home, and here is the bigger Rainbow Mountain. That's perfect. Let's fly right over and get ourselves back home to those camels. So I was thinking after flying around, figuring out where to build next, I think right next to the Sniffer Farm and Bamboo Farm is the way to go because that way we're getting more torch flower seeds and more pitcher pods and more bamboo. Also, by the way, we did get the continuity mod updated here. I don't know if I mentioned that last episode, but it is updated so everything is connected again but yeah the sniffers and camels i think it'd be pretty cool to get them right next to each other we have the entire build right here right next to the fox den and the dragon egg shrine on the other side but i think if we get the camels sanctuary right over here i think that'd look pretty nice but uh, i think this time we're going to use a bunch of sandstone cobblestone and acacia log i might end up using some oak too but i think the acacia wood is going to be the main focus and I'm really liking the way that the stripped acacia wood looks on the sandstone. So I'm going to keep on working with this until we get a nice building going. I actually don't have any, like, design in mind. So we're just going to build on stream probably until we get something good going. Hopefully this turns out okay though. Because I usually don't build with sandstone. This is actually the first sandstone build on this entire world. But, uh, you know, here goes nothing. Also, feel free to join us anytime on stream. It is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. We do stream every single day. And with one long Twitch stream down, I actually got the first floor taken care of. We have some light here with the glowstone. I used some orange terracotta instead of the acacia because I was going to strip it, but uh, I decided the acacia wood actually out here would be a lot cooler. Where the sandstone is pillaring up, we can put this up here. And we actually have the chiseled sandstone up top. Next, I was thinking we go through, I wanted to use the wall to fence to chain to lantern action here, so I think that's the only way to do it. We gotta keep it consistent. We have to stay true to our ways. Right now, I actually have a bunch of cactus growing in here because I wanted to use some, I mean, a lot of this to actually make a bunch of camels. Uh, I'm growing the cactus in here right now because I'm actually going to use a lot of this for the decoration as well. But uh, in the middle is going to be an oasis, but I still have to get that going. I'm going to use a couple of these cactus right now. Let's go ahead and get you off the lead, get you off the lead right here. Let's make another, let's make another camel. And there we go. Got ourselves a baby camel. I think maybe some decorated pots might actually be in order here. I'm not going to put any of the decoration on here yet because I actually wanted to do a specific dedicated build towards those. I want to see if this will actually look good too. We'll put the pots in there and get the azalea up top. That's uh, that's not too bad. Also, if anybody didn't know, you can actually take a clay pot and you can put a lantern directly in it. It's kind of fun. I don't know why, but something this simple is bringing me a lot of joy. So we started getting some of these hanging acacia signs up here, and I think they look pretty good. We got the spruce signs up here as well. I do like using these instead of the fence gates for right now. I just like the uh, 
the new feel of these. It's so refreshing. And we have four rooms that I have going to and from. We have a little bit of a lookout area for all of the cactus, I guess, right now. Soon it will be camel, but uh, for right now, it is just all cactus. Actually, you know what? Let's go ahead and get some of this taken out. I'm going to go ahead and actually start lowering this area just so I remember. I want this to be an oasis. Let's go ahead and... Where's my shovel? Let's move this out. Let's just make the oasis maybe... Oh, there's some copper. Ow! Come on, buddy. You get to go now. So let's actually move this out here. I'll probably make it about yay big. Probably have about 8 to 10 camels in here. I'm telling you guys, this is going to be awesome. Buddy, he's, he's, he's delighted. Look at him. Right now, of course, I think the uh, the desert sticks is the only appropriate foliage for the camels. I do also think the sea pickles down here is going to work. Oh, wow, I need to get actual full blocks of water there. Okay, there we go. Let's get some of this here. I might actually have to put some of the sea kelp down here. I always forget when you dig out a hole, the blocks of water are not fully there. I'm going to lay some coral down in here, of course. I think uh, only a few colors will do because this pond is not too big. But I actually really do like the look of the cattails when they're in the pond, so I'm actually going to go ahead and put one of these in here too. I wanted to add some bamboo and some sugar cane, but uh, I couldn't find any over there at the beach. I think I smacked it all down, so we're here at the farm. Let's only, we only need a couple. Let's go here, and let's fly. Oh god, let's fly out of here. Get back over here real quick. I like bamboo because you can place it on sand, so I feel like it's still kind of appropriate to place some of the bamboo in here. Let's just see how we feel once it gets a little bit taller. And of course, the sugar cane right here in the center. Just a couple of them over here. I think that's going to look nice. Okay, somehow this guy escaped. Let's go. Cameraman. All right, it was you. Let's, uh, you know what? Let's just go this way. Everyone else seems to be behaving. Um, let's actually just take them all off. Throw you back on the lead. Let's take you off the stick here. I feel like it's time to take you four and just throw you on into the uh, sanctuary because uh, there's no more cactus in here. There's nothing really to get hurt on. Can you guys even fit? Can you only go through one at a time? Dude, these things are huge. It would be pretty cool if they stayed baby camel size, but big camels are pretty cool. Let's drop you guys off right next to the oasis. Hope you guys enjoy the new home for now. We still have a little bit of decorating to do here. Oh, he plopped right down. They are enjoying it. I swear, after every time it rains, there's just more and more creepers chilling out. Sir, you gotta go. And, uh, sir, over here, you gotta go too. I usually do a pretty good job of keeping it daytime, but uh, I guess you can't win them all. Also, while I'm out here, I might as well show you. To the side of the build, we have a big acacia tree farm, because in this series... Oh, another creeper all the way out there. But in this series, I haven't really had the time to make an acacia tree farm and get all that wood, so I figured, you know what, we might as well do that right now. Also, the fact that you cannot stack these decorated pots. I mean, you can stack them physically. Yes, that is one thing that you can do, but you cannot stack them in your inventory, and that, I feel... Oh, man, I wish you could do that. Also, breaking these might be my new favorite sound. That is just... Ah, that's pure joy. Gonna take down the scaffolding here. Thank you very much. Let's just replace this with some trap doors. Luckily, these guys don't move around too much because I just spent about five minutes decorating and they didn't really move at all and I didn't really cage them in here, so that's kind of convenient. And uh, I know acacia trees are a part of the savannah, not necessarily the desert, but I do think they look nice in contrast with the colors of this build, so I kind of put them everywhere. I put a lot of hanging cactuses in some spots, but it's a lot of acacia trees. Thinking we should also do the wall to fence to chain to lantern action on the inside as well, just to add a little bit more light. I don't want anything spawning in here. Creepers be coming out of nowhere. This walkway is not looking too bad. Got the cactuses, the acacia. We got the lighting and the logs out. The indoor here is all decorated with the unstackable pots. It is missing a little bit of light here on the corner, so I was thinking if we do the classic from most of our builds, get a campfire on the corners here. That'll probably add a little bit more ambiance and just a little bit of light. Probably exactly what we needed. The ocelot has come to watch. Bask in the glory. This isn't for you, though. This is for the camels. Imagine if ocelots could also eat camels in this game. That'd be crazy. Taking a step back now at all of the decoration. It's not too shabby except this very tippy top up here. Over here as well. I'm not entirely sure how to make this look nice. I'm thinking about doing the chisel blocks on the top like the rest of them, or we can do an acacia wood roof. Camels do seem to be enjoying it from up here. They really just do not move around much. They're kind of always just over here chilling. So I kind of had this desert well idea to put on top, but I think we're also going to need some of the chiseled stone. What I'm going to do to light up the middle too is a little bit weird. I think I'm going to use some of the glowstone. So let's actually hop up here. Put one right there, there, and there. Then we chisel it up over here. Let's put that right here. And then we'll actually get some spruce trap doors in the middle. Add a little bit of color and differentiating it from the other tops. 
Let's fly to the other one real quick before we finish them all. Honestly, you know what? That's not too bad. Let's get this last tower taken care of right here. And nice, dude. Okay. I don't think there was a corner left untouched. I think we detailed pretty much all of this. Let's step out into the front. We do need to bone meal the front yard because I don't like how plain this is looking. Get some of the moss over here bone mealed up. Get rid of some of this rooted dirt. Get these cows and ocelots over here and potential creepers a little bit more foliage. Seriously, guys, thank you so much for watching this episode. If you did, I am actually really proud of this build. I do not build with sandstone and acacia very often. I think I've done this once before, but only in really a long play. Also, just noticing behind me right now that there is a missing block. Let's put you in there. And actually, I didn't put really any oak in this path at all. Let's put this there. Let's put this here. Let's put you over here. Let's put you right here. And I think we can call that good. Of course, as soon as I try to call it good, I start placing stuff in the wrong spot. And there we go. Guys, thank you so much for watching. I really do appreciate y'all. It really does mean a lot. This has to be the biggest cherry grow forest that I have ever seen. It just goes and goes and goes. Welcome back to a brand new episode, guys. This is episode 40. I cannot believe we are here. I actually need to do a little bit of mending on my elytra. We've been flying around looking for some trail ruins and uh, sorry, cows. And sorry, pig, all the way down here. I see you. You just have to... I need a little bit of mending. Thank you. My elytra is not too bad, but uh, I'm really trying to find this trail ruins, man. I am never going to get tired of finding these cherry grove forests, though. Ooh, a beehive. All right, I'm taking it. Sorry, bee. You're going to have to find another hive. That one's mine. Sorry, sheep. Sorry, pig. What's up, pig? Surprise. Hello, sheep. Thank you for helping me mend my elytra. I do appreciate you. And you, sir, have you heard the good word about mending my elytra? Sir, please, have you heard the good word about mending my elytra? Well, this is some crazy village generation. I love it when villages are on the side of mountains here. Love me some wild llamas. What's going on, llamas? How you guys doing? And we got some goats up here. Let's go. What's going on, goats? How you doing? What's going on, buddy? Look at these mountain goats, man. Honestly, I think baby goats are one of the most forgotten about. They might be one of my favorites. Look at this little guy, man. And actually, on the goal board, we do have goat sanctuary, so we will get that done. But I was hoping to find another trail ruins first so that I could actually get a long play going for excavating a trail ruins. Passed a lot of jungles and it's so hard to search through. Ooh, we got an old growth birch forest here. We could search. These are probably the easiest and lily of the valleys. I'm actually never going to pass these up. But these are probably the easiest biome to search for these in. I found my last one in a mega taiga, but uh, I think the old growth birch forest, since like all the trees are so spread out, this might be the easiest. And I've searched a couple of them, but I haven't really had any luck. I even had a stream. We did two hours, maybe a little bit more than that, and I couldn't find any. Oh, dude, that is some crazy luck right here. Okay, all right, so we happen to have found one. Let's go. Mark in this spot here, we're at negative 3,600 and 5,500. Wow, we are far. I'm sure there's some that's a lot closer, but uh, I had no luck finding it. Get a nice hefty portal here. One and plop and boom, and let's go. I am not wearing any gold, and where are we? Uh, let's get the sword out. We are just in a little basalt valley. Looks like our only option is to just dig. We have to dig our way out. Okay, yeah, so connecting this bridge is... It's gonna take a while. I think I might just have to fly directly there for now and uh, see how fast we can get there. And all right, there we go. Okay, so this is actually still an exposed area, so we're gonna have to cover this up with glass before we connect. I believe we're gonna have to connect right about here. This part of the nether, though, never fails to amaze. This is awesome. 1.16 update still was one of the best, I would have to say. Did want to head back home real quick, though, because I actually... Oh, my God, there's a skelly. What are you doing here? But sir, sir, you need to stop being here. I did want to head back home, though, real fast to show you guys the new torch flower garden and the pitcher plant garden. I also have a brand new bamboo starter house I wanted to show you guys, too. And those are all done in the long plays. And thanks again for watching those guys. I really do appreciate it. I actually did have strep throat for about a week, and I was unable to record. I just lost my voice. My voice is still recovering, so that's why it's still a little bit scratchy right now. But thank you guys for the patience on this episode. I know it took about like 11, 12 days to come out. And man, I am sorry about that. Just here to drop off some stuff real quick. I am really bad at organizing. And so actually, I've started just dedicating some certain builds to a bunch of different types of blocks. Because I do love this house for storage, but I mean, we have like hundreds of blocks, man. It's getting hard to like remember where I'm putting everything. Let's fly over here, though. We have a brand new area that we have been working on pretty hard. We have the Sniffer Farm and the Camel Sanctuary over here. And so the Torch Flower Garden, we got it right. Oh my god, I forgot I've been taking some of the Torch Flowers out. We're going to have to, you know what, let's get some seeds. Let's see what we got here. It's still running, and we got a bunch of Torch Flower Seeds. Let's take a whole stack. 
I loved building this thing. I love doing circular gardens, and the torch flower just has every color to offer, and it's just, it's beautiful. It's one of my new favorite flowers, and the pitcher plant as well was amazing, but the torch flower just has a lot more uniqueness to it. Actually, who am I kidding? Look at this guy right here. These guys are amazing. Let's get all this replanted here and show you guys the pitcher plant garden. So actually, right around the corner over here is a nice stone wall mixed with a little bit of mossy cobblestone and some tuff but uh, it was a kind of a different looking garden and I thought this was kind of nice. If you leave it planted uh, from where it grew, it looks like an onion at the bottom. So I don't think I'm actually gonna take any of these pitcher plants out. I have, a, I have some other areas where I'll grow them because this is kind of fun, I like this. We had a pool to the side here and waterfalls going up. I did put some fish in here, but uh, I, I, I always forget if you put some fish in here with the, uh, the waterfalls, they will go up the waterfall and they will go down the waterfall can actually fly through the village all the way to the other side. I actually did a 1.19 starter house and uh, decided to do a bamboo starter house. So it's basically a 1.20 starter house. Here's the brand new starter house. I am loving this thing. It's super simple. If you go on the inside, it's just got a barely enough space for you to go upstairs to get some storage and to go downstairs to get some storage. Stepping back out though, these guys are so fun to build with. The bamboo blocks are so much fun. They have a lot of versatility as well. I mean, there's green and the yellow textures. I wanted to head down to the goal board though, because there's, oh, actually, hold on. It looks like a lot of turtles. And is that Daniel? Hold on. Daniel, what are you, oh, this is actually Daniel's friend. What are you doing stuck on the raft here, guys? You, you and the turtle, what are you doing? I love these bamboo rafts, but all these turtles seem to just get stuck on them. Daniel, you were supposed to keep an eye on Daniel's friend, and Daniel's friend is now stuck over here. Some friend you are, Daniel. Let's hop on over to the 1.20 goal board, and we actually did do a bamboo house, so we'll take this guy off. But the hanging sign storage, this right here is actually something I kind of really want to get done. So I'm taking this off right now. That is what we're doing today because actually, hold on, I'll show you guys real quick. It is just overloading my starter house. I'm gonna fly in here and actually, why do I have a flint and steel? Uh, uh, you know what? Get this out of here. Hold on. That is just super dangerous, especially in the house. Uh, we have these shulker boxes. These guys are just in front of the stairs, the main stairway, and uh, they all have hanging signs and they, they gotta go. Except actually, this one right here has sherds and uh, armor trims. That They will get their storage eventually but right now we are going to be focusing on the hanging signs because uh, it's time and actually real quick i need some lanterns and i need to mend the elytra so might as well kill two birds with one stone since the hanging signs come in basically any color i kind of want it to be a little bit uh, like more whimsical looking so i'm going to try to use all of the wood colors that i can deep slate is probably going to be the neutral color that ends up being in there as well but uh, now comes the task of finding where we actually want to build this thing i mean coming over to the camel sanctuary area is not a bad bet because the bamboo farm is always going to be going also the torch flower seeds and pitcher plant ponds are going to be coming in more abundance no actually right in front of the fox sanctuary there's a little bit of a big field right here we could build a harbor but there's actually this field i think oh and a wandering trader hold up what do you got for me sir you don't really have anything except for those nice you know what those are is that a those are some nice looking leads you got there sir thank you thank you very much Thank you for the lead. Oh, did you just, you know what? Now it's personal. You tried to spit. Definitely a lot of cowage over here. All the cows decided to just migrate to this little field, but uh, I'm gonna have to clear it out actually. So sorry, cows, making a little bit of space. We got a new build that's gonna be coming up over here and I don't know exactly how much room I'm gonna need, but uh, we could start off with the oak. I was thinking of maybe having this thing look sort of like a sawmill. Something that's kind of stripping all the wood and making all the hanging signs. Kind of like a factory. These, oh my god, all these animals, they are in the way. Cows, please, cows, you don't need to be here. I just want to build my sawmill. I don't know how cherry or mangrove are going to fit into this build, but... I mean, we're going to have to find out. And I'm not really sure what shape this building is going to take. I did want it to look a little bit more whimsical again. So there's probably going to be uh, there's probably going to be a wheel turning at some point. Probably going to have to connect a tower. I'm thinking about having two or three main big rooms here. Because we do have seven different colors of the hanging signs, I believe. So we're, we have a lot of decoration to put in here. So I was actually thinking two things. I thought the uh, stone actually needs to be probably the base of the build. Because uh, I think it will just look more industrial. More like a sawmill if the stone was down here instead of the wood. Secondly, I thought all of the shulker boxes with the hanging signs, they can watch me build this. Because we are doing this for them. So you guys can watch, man. You guys can watch this happen. 
This cowage is unreal, man. These things are all over the place. But uh, we have a little mini first part of the structure up. We decided to use a lot of spruce, a lot of the jungle wood on the inside. And now we're going to start putting some oak here as well. I'd like to try to use as many of the wood types as I can. We'll do wall defense to chain to end rod right there, just as usual. And actually, if we pop up over here, the roof has brick. And I think we're actually going to use some oak up here as well, because we haven't used much oak yet. And if you're wondering how we got most of the build on this done so quickly, actually, just feel free to come by on a Twitch stream anytime. We do stream every single day there. We would love to have people from the YouTube community come on over and join us on Twitch. And of course it starts raining every single time. I'm always trying to record and it's always trying to rain. I feel like for the windows we could get some more oak trap doors up here as well. We are definitely getting a lot of color here. And on the bottom we did use mostly stone but uh, the iron walls I feel like uh, they made the most sense here. They made the, the, just the color kind of pop on the top. And I feel like what'll make the lighting pop a little bit more is actually just using some campfires. So if we just go to all of the corners right here and then use some of these spruce trap doors, get one on this side over here as well. We'll take a step back real quick. That's not too bad. So on the left side, I wanted to make this look more like a factory. So over here, if you go off, there is a place where the logs are actually going to be getting sent. So, oh my God, I didn't realize the rails could do that on two separate very strange but i was hoping to make it seem like the logs were coming over here to get packaged have some grindstones set up on each side to make it look like some work is being done here but uh, we have a bunch of different types of wood that we're going to strip here because this is going to be the portion of the factory where all of the wood is being processed we can actually take some of the rails and throw them over the top kind of like this to make it look like they're getting packaged and we officially now have a wood processing plant since we're using oak up there with the brick i think thought over here we haven't used any mangrove yet so i'm going to start using mangrove for the outer rim we'll actually probably throw birch on the inside of this if we don't use all mangrove but uh, actually we are using birch on the other side i'll show you all the way over here we actually had to start doing a little bit of landscaping to bring the dirt up here we'll probably do a little bit of a retaining wall with some cobblestone but we're going to make a nice little area where a lot of the wood is being stored i don't think we're going to end up using any of the wood from the nether so i think the one left out right now is the bamboo wood so i think actually this would make a very good wall for the top level Hanging signs are making really good walls lately. I've actually just been kind of replacing my walls with hanging signs. I mean, let's take a step back real quick. It kind of, you know what, it has like that caution tape look to it. But uh, we are trying to use all of the different types of woods, so it is what it is. We're going to leave it. So actually, this window right here, I actually don't think that's going to be a window. If we take a little bit of wood, probably some spruce logs. Let's go up here. I am scattered all over the place. I haven't really been finishing everything. I've just been kind of spreading the ideas all over and then just not, yeah, just kind of leaving everything kind of a mess. But I think right here, because once the idea comes to my head, I will forget it if I don't start working on it. I think what we'll do is make it so there's a kind of a wheel over in this area. This is going to be a sawmill, then uh, we got to have a wheel spinning for some power. And this sawmill's got a lot of logs, so we uh, we need the power to cut them all. I would have to say not too shabby for sure so far. We have some of the completed wood up here, what is supposed to look like the finished product. So it's uh, not the hanging sign, but we're going to start over here with the actual wood. This is what the factory is supposedly supposed to be doing. All of these unfinished logs, we got birch, oak, dark oak, and mangrove over here, and it's going to be processed up over here where it gets stripped and packaged up and uh, gets sent straight through the, technically it's the stone cutter, but this is going to be a wood cutter in this case. Why do we not have a wood cutter, by the way? Come on, Minecraft, let's get a wood cutter in this game. But then it's all just going to continue going through the interior of the main processing center, and it'll get sent through to where the hanging signs are going to be stored. I am so glad to finally have all of these out of the main storage area of my starter house because now we can get all that decluttered i love having little storage areas like this i'm glad to have something dedicated i want to start doing stuff like this because i want to do copper i want to do a whole dedicated storage area for iron too couple things though to make this area a little bit more green i wanted to add ferns to all of the blocks that are not campfires on the edges and there's actually some glow berries that are hanging here but they are not lit and i think that would be perfect if they were and i actually oh my god those fox like shrieking is terrifying sometimes 
But uh, yeah, I actually have a right here, a, a block that I completely forgot to put in, so I'm glad I noticed that. But also, this is the first time I've ever used a roof with acacia on the outside and spruce on the inside. We got jungle trap doors and birch buttons here too. Just trying to mix it up a little bit on pretty much all the roofs because now we got brick and oak over here with a little bit of dark oak and oak for the trap doors. Glad we came up here because now we can actually add some ferns. But then we also have some mangrove and oak combos over here with the spruce on top. So I'm actually really enjoying all these combos. Oh my god, okay, well, we got someone shooting at us, and so you got- Oh, and there's a creeper here. Okay, everyone everyone just needs to calm down. You get back. I'm gonna go this way. You, sir, you need to, you need to get back also. And uh, you just get back, sir. Well, that just could have been a real bad morning real quick. Let's, uh, I kind of want to build a couple more of these right here in the front. I also got some of the wheels to make it look like it's being processed. Let's, uh, use some of the grindstone here in the middle. Love the way that grindstone just ends up looking like a giant factory belt. Get all this stripped up over here, and then we'll get it wrapped up with the railing. I think I'm going to end up adding one more of these to the other side, too. Also, you know what? It actually would be nice to have something that looks like it, something's being transported here, too. I feel like this might be a forgotten decoration, but campfires that are just taken out, if you just kind of spill them out everywhere, it seems like it's just wood that's like stacked for a... Oh, and we have a visitor. Hold up a second, sir. What do you got for me? Absolutely nothing that I kind of... You know what? That lead, though. That lead is kind of nice. You know, I'll take that lead. Thank you, sir. Thank you very... Sir? You know, I'll take that lead. Where are you guys going? And I was thinking this could be on the build as well, because we can add them to the corners like this. After all, it is a wood processing plant for the hanging signs, so if we didn't have stacked logs, I mean, what kind of wood processing plant would this be? I end up getting some texture on these poles for all of these wheels. And what better texture than the trap doors of the spruce wood? There's always more landscaping to be done over here. This chain is slowly turning into one of my favorite parts of the build. Let's get some birch added in here. I want to get some fence up here. I want to get some buttons on the side. Thank you for being with us today, birch button. I feel like stone cutters out here would actually be, you know, making kind of a little bit of sense because, uh, I mean, it is a wood cutting plant and these actually, these are not stone cutters. I forgot these are wood cutters, but it would make a little bit more sense to just have some of these laying around. Also, as far as chimneys go, I don't think we have any on all four parts of this build. We have one, two, three, and four on the other side over here and all, yeah, none of them have any chimneys. I don't know how I, I always forget that somehow. I guess over here, since these are just kind of overhangs and not necessarily buildings, we'll make these two over here have chimneys. So I guess only two is needed. On the first one, we're actually just going to use a two by one. I don't think we need to take up that much space, but I don't want it to be a one by one because, uh, you know, we just need a little bit of variety in these chimneys. Burn my toes a little bit setting up these trap doors. And wow, that was just shaking the whole screen. Let's get this over here. And oh, that's in the wrong spot. Boom, 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 and boom. And we had a chimney. This one over here can actually just have the one little tower sticking out. Let's go down real fast. And you know what? Not too bad. Never miss an opportunity to place a fern down. Starting to realize here now that uh, we're going to have to do a little bit more landscaping because like the side of this building, it goes over by one block. So we're going to have to add some more grass over there for a retaining wall to come up. But it's nothing a little bit of grass can't handle. If we just move stuff a little bit further this way, then we can add the railing in. So that's nice right there, but we're still going to have to add some in. And I was thinking, actually, if we did an entirely dedicated long play to making a retaining wall, that'd be pretty fun. There's all the stone blocks, all the tuff, and all the andesite as well. Maybe a little bit of gravel. But if we get that retaining wall done all the way over here, pretty much, then we could do an entirely separate long play for a new harbor. And I haven't made a harbor in a long time. Well, actually, we do kind of have one, but it is more of a fishing dock. So if we fly over here, this will be kind of the look of it right here, but it'll have a giant stone retaining wall behind it. But man, there is just way too many plans for this world. We have way too much stuff to get done. Two things that I noticed that were missing real quick, I got to hit them. We had this birch button, and I hope that's the only birch button that was missing. We also have a dead bush that was supposed to go in here. And let's hop up. Wait, hold on. And boom, you are in. Back here by the back stairs, I had forgotten to put in a couple of the fence gates. I'm just making sure over here. Actually, wait, well, this is technically the front stairs because this is the only way to kind of get into the main building here. But if we go down to the side, I think there was one that I had seen that I had forgotten. And I don't know how I went under that mushroom, but yep, here it is right there. And if we run over here, there's a couple of fences that I had missed. I don't know how I did, but uh, I completely missed this. We want it to be looking like this on both sides because I did it over here, but on this side, I did not. 
So glad we got that in. I also wanted to make a little bit of a checkered board with the Hershey bar looking trap doors up here. Now the build is looking pretty much done. I have the outside kind of scattered. A lot of the work area is looking like the villagers can move in. This cow for sure has moved in. I, actually, he's just kind of staring into the bricks. He like, okay, never mind. I was going to say, man, is something okay? The only thing left to do to make it look a little bit more like a work site would probably just to be add maybe an anvil. That's so loud. I always forget how loud those are, but maybe add one over here also. And then everywhere I put a crafting table, I was just going to put a lantern right on top of it. And every time I put a scaffolding up here, let's just go ahead and put a blue orchid in it, because why not? Wanted to go to the side also, and stop forgetting here, the pitcher plants. I am never going to get tired of the... Oh my god, I forgot about this guy, he scared me. This guy got caught in a boat, and I'm just kind of waiting for him to run out of ammo, because he can just... I mean, he's just going to keep shooting me as much as he wants, but uh, as soon as he runs out of ammo, he's just going to be stuck in that boat forever. Is this really how you want to live your life, sir? You just want it, you're going to run out of ammo and then you're not going to have anything to live for. I'm going to get out of here because he seems a little angry and, uh, and, uh, he seems very relentless. He's not really going to stop. Now, actually, since we did the landscaping over here, I think it's good. We should probably add in a bunch of the tall flowers as well as, you know what? I keep forgetting the pitcher plants too. Let's actually get these. They don't need to be a part of the build. They can be a part of the foliage now too. And you gotta be kidding me, this guy- Okay, first of all, dude, don't be touching my, uh, my minecarts with the chest in it. Is this another lead delivery, or do you have anything good for me? It's just a good old lead delivery. Thank you so- Is that three times in one episode? Thank you so much, everybody. I- Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Got two brand new leads, and uh, now we can go ahead and just start planting some of these flowers down here. Probably gonna have to take all of these out once we do the long play, because, uh, it's gonna be a lot of landscaping for that. But, you know what? Just make it good for this thumbnail, and then we'll be a-okay. You can even and add some of these flowers over for this guy because he seems to be in, yep still in a really bad mood dude why are you why are you in such a bad mood give you some sunflowers maybe that'll brighten your day up a little bit glad we could get all these here though super glad that we could end up getting all this finished here in episode 40 i'm glad that we could go out with the bang here this is looking great to me at least i'm glad that we could get all these blocks especially with all the different colors working together and i'm super happy about that Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you guys for joining on all the Twitch streams if you did. I appreciate you guys for joining. Thank you to everyone that joined the Patreon, and thanks to everybody that is a YouTube member. appreciate y'all, man. Thanks for the support. Hi, everybody. Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to episode 41 of the Hardcore Let's Play series. Actually, right now, what I'm doing before we get any building going on is uh, going over to the other side over here, right across this bridge. We need to make a brand new nether portal over here. We only have about six builds, and uh, it'd be a lot easier if we could just make a portal that would get us right over. It's been about five episodes since we built anything over here, and we haven't done a long play over here in a while, so uh, I was thinking let's just get another portal right in the center, right next to our beet farm. We're not using the farm, but I'm glad that this guy's putting it to use. I think another portal probably just right about here will do. We'll end up just starting off with one right here, and then we'll end up making it better. I want to do some long plays where I make some really cool looking nether portals. And we've already dedicated an entire episode to building another portal, so I think some longer form episodes will probably do. Let's see where this guy takes us. I'd like to connect these nether portals. Okay, so, oh my god, and we, oh my god, we are right on top. Okay, so this is super convenient. I'm gonna take this down here. All I really have to do is kind of build a stairwell down, or we could maybe build this thing down just a little bit further. Okay, so this is super convenient. I'm just gonna get a couple of these guys out of the way. Ooh, some shroom lights clear this area up. We'll probably end up building a staircase, or we can just build a ladder that'll get down here right to the Strider Sanctuary. This is kind of cool. Buddy, why are you guys all huddled together shivering? You could, there's so many empty lava pools. You could just go into, there's one lava pool per Strider. You guys could all go in, enjoy yourselves, but you guys are all huddled together. Well, this is kind of great because we can jump up here and we can actually just go right back. It's not far at all. We've been actually spending a little bit more time in the nether recently on some streams because I wanted to connect a couple nether portals. We have an end room portal now, so we can quickly use this boat if we turn around and go this way and go zero. All the way down here will take you to the trail ruins. Okay, and a ghast was trying to shoot at me, but I went way too far, so we're gonna have to see the ghast again. Please don't shoot at me, dude. We'll go this way, and if we, up oh, there we go, we stopped, and actually, I wanted to use some torch flowers in the nether, because they have pretty much every color on them, and I just wanted the, the flower that would bring the most color to the nether. But if we hop over here, we have a nice, short little hallway, and I'm glad that we put glass on the ceiling here, because these hoglins are relentless. But this thing is great, because we finally have a nether portal that takes us all the way over to our end room. 
we hop out over here. It's still raining. It's always raining when I'm recording, but, uh, yeah, and of course we can't sleep, but yeah, we have a brand new area where I'm trying to start building some docks over here. A uh, brand new nether portal, obviously, in a long play. We have an end room right down here. I think this is gonna be great. All we have to do is kind of build the dock out and build maybe a land bridge that goes all the way over. I think I just passed an allay somewhere, and he's right here. We have an allay. Oh my god. What are you doing all the way out here, dude? Why? Why are you out here? Now it's nighttime. I do have one lead on me. You know what? Let's sleep at the bottom of the ocean here, and let's save that allay. Oh my god, there's two allays here. Hold up. Hold okay, we have to sit. We'll save you right here. Come on. And we'll come up here, and please get back here. But I, I can't reach you in the water. Come here, please. By the way, guys, thank you for watching all the Twitch streams. It is twitch.tv slash waxfraud. We do stream every single day if you guys want to join. Home, sweet home. I'm glad we have some of the builds that are actually on this side of the world now instead of the forest. We actually have some stuff to look at when we approach from the water. So I have an idea. What we'll do is we'll get these allays kind of tied up over here to make it seem like they were helping out for this build. As if these guys were just the factory workers over here. And if you guys haven't seen episode 40, feel free to go check that out. And thank you if you did watch it. I do appreciate y'all. This is one of my most favorite builds that we've done since the new update. This was just, it was kind of like a free-form build. We have all this non-stripped wood that gets processed and eventually gets stripped through some sort of uh, wood cutting process with these stone cutters over here. You just gotta use your imagination. It'll pump itself on over here into our brand new hanging sign storage. And again, thank you guys so much for watching that episode if you did. But we will hop out and actually, you know what, I kind of want to go say what's up to this guy. I was thinking, since this guy's going to be maybe a permanent part of our world, we should name him. So uh, I want you guys to help me do that. Feel free to leave some comments down below. What do you guys think we should name this guy? Very relentless. He's very good at his job. He's going to run out of arrows, but uh, hey, uh, what's what's a good name for this guy? Before I forget, I'm actually going to run to the auto storage. Cause What are all these cows doing? I, all these, There's so much cowage. All the cows decided to start moving back into the town. But I was actually going to go to the auto storage real fast because I ran out of stone that I was using for the nether highway. Let's hop down here. And I'm pretty sure we have a minecart. Perfect. Yeah, I haven't been to the auto storage in... Actually, I think it's been a couple months, but uh, I haven't really had a reason to. Got a lot of arrows in my head and neck and arm, but uh, pretty soon that guy's going to run out and it will only be friendship from then on out. And we are here. That is perfect. I'm gonna fill up a couple shulker boxes with all of the stone that I can. Two ideas here. First idea is I should probably finish this auto storage so they can put more items here. And second idea is I would like to make a nether portal that gets me here pretty quickly. Okay, this is, oh my god, and we are right next to where we need to be. Looks like our bridge is right there, but it looks like this is Hogland territory. Luckily, none are around us. Oh, we are right next to our Strider Sanctuary. This is absolutely amazing. So we got Striders right here, and we are chilling next to the nether portal. Came back to put the stone away, and I found this guy. Dude, why are you back here? You're, you're stuck forever. Why? Why do you get behind the Propagule? I see you trying to get out and you're never going to be able to, but uh, for me it is just one click of the propagule and one click of the clay pot, sir. Just get out. Please don't do that again. Glad this guy took a job right away. Some villagers these days, man, they just do not want to work. Now, other than the stone, there's actually a couple other items that I wanted to get more of. And actually, you know what? Let's take a stop at the camel sanctuary real quick. I got the cactus with me. Let's do it. I want to make some baby camel. How about you eat some cactus? How about you eat some cactus? Cameraman over here, you sir, you can have a cactus, and you know what? You can have a cactus. Now that's a baby camel, oh, and he laid down immediately. And look at that smile on his face. Man, that's a baby camel if I've ever seen one. Did we get a baby camel over here yet, or is this guy, this guy's just, you can't, you have to get up, dude. You actually, you have to get up if you want to make a baby camel. Okay, of course, this guy gets up, and then this guy lays down. What's going on, guys? The chemistry is just not there. These guys, however, made a very happy baby camel. Look at this guy go. No, but really, there's a couple other items that I did want to add to the storage because we are running low, and that is the torch flowers and the pitcher plants. So let's actually go to the torch flower garden, grab a couple of these guys, and we are going to have to actually replace these, so let's go to the sniffer farm. Didn't need a rocket, forgot how close I was. Let's go down here, grab us a couple pitcher pods and torch flower seeds. Get these planted here, and we can actually run over here. I haven't actually dug any of these pitcher plants out yet, but... It's about time we can replace them. These are probably my favorite plants once they're planted and fully grown, because at the bottom, I mean, I've said it before, they look like onions, and at the top, they're very beautiful flowers. That being said, I will most definitely be replanting these, because you gotta have that onion, man. You gotta have the onions in this world. Now we got these little hazy eyeballs that'll 
turn into these onions that whoa hold on i thought i heard something there we go buddy my bad but yeah then eventually these are going to turn into the beautiful pitcher plants which we actually need to plant all around town this entire city that we've got going on here the entire civilization is lacking the new torch flowers and the pitcher plants so we're going to start getting those everywhere Definitely need more pitcher plants in front of the house over here and in front of the gold board back on the beach. Actually, speaking of the gold board, let's go over here. We have a bunch of them. We've been doing the 1.20 goals for a couple episodes now. So maybe let's go back to our roots and see what else originally needed to get done. Actually, you know what? Top left. First one with that we were thinking of, maybe just goat sanctuary. Let's get that done. Goats, I think, are one of the coolest mobs in the game. And we've been kind of neglecting them. We haven't really been giving the goats much thought. And they definitely don't deserve that. So let's. So let's finish planting these pitcher plants and uh, let's go get some goats. And if I remember correctly, if we fly out this way, I think there's a goat that I left in a boat. We are back and yep, there he is. There's the goat in the boat. And hey, I forgot actually, hold on. We have another goat right here. Ow, sir. Oh my God. He just, what dude? I did not deserve. Hold on. You're going to get put in a, you're about to get put in a boat, sir. Hey man, I need you to leave me alone, please. Please leave me alone. And here's the thing, I actually don't have any boats, I do have leads on me though, so what we'll do is I'm gonna grab you over here, and you're gonna come with me, sir. Honestly, a boat would take forever anyway, so I'm glad that we're not doing it like that. Let's get you out of the boat, let's get you on the lead, we'll actually get two pieces of wheat here, cause I think it's time to make a baby goat, and boom and boom. We got you, we got you, and we got baby goat over here, bam, get on the lead, you're coming home. And we are off, the four of us, let's go, let's try not to uh, fall into any powdered snow. Okay, buddy, you're making this hard. Come on now, let's go over here. Let's, uh, finally at the ocean. Let's, uh, see if we can cross safely. Just me swimming with three goats back here. You know what? Not too bad. We will be at home soon, guys. I promise we have a brand new land over here that we're gonna expand for you. And we are gonna have to build a brand new armory for the new armor trims, but this armor or trading hall, man, this is still standing tall. I'm gonna build something similar to it, but with probably some cherry wood or bamboo wood for the armor trims. The nether portal over here that we gotta make look nice and pretty. Actually, well, you know what I'm gonna do is put the goats right here for right now, and uh, we'll actually clean this area up because we gotta get a little build over here. We fly up, actually, and take a look at what land we're working with. The island actually does not have much space left, so I think we actually might go right next to the armory. This trading hall could use a neighbor. We might take out these trees right here and just go on this edge. I'd still like to make room for an iron farm over here as well, get another one of those going. Can never have too much iron, honestly. I turned around for one second, and I heard a hop, and this guy- how- well, why, first of all, and how? I like this goat right here, I like this guy a lot. You know what, actually, we need to name these goats, let's name two of them. Go ahead and throw out your best goat names in the comments down below. Got the materials that I want to use for this build. We're gonna hop back around on this side over here. I actually would like to use calcite, because I want to make this look like kind of a mountainy looking build. I don't have any snow blocks necessarily that I'd like to use for building, and calcite is kind of, uh, you know, the block that looks the closest. Spruce and oak are probably going to be the main wood types that we use. Probably going to take a little bit of a break from cherry. We've been using a lot of cherry wood. But we might use a little bit on the top section because you can find cherry groves near all the mountain biomes. So I feel like that would only make sense. But let's go ahead and just get everything color coordinated over here. I love the sound of placing calcite. I always forget how nice it sounds. And it instamines too. It's just one of the good blocks, man. It's just one of the good ones. And you know what? The spruce and oak and calcite combo, I think it's been done. So the cherry wood, you know what? I think let's just give it a try. I know I said I wouldn't use it, but you know what? Who am I kidding? All right, goats, you guys just make another goat for me over here. And then, uh, yeah, this is starting to turn into definitely a Neapolitan type of build. We got vanilla, we got chocolate, we got strawberry up top. I think what we're going to do is build a chimney or a big tower right in the middle here. This guy's just following me, man. You know what? You can follow me as long as you want, man. You're a cute little goat. One thing we gotta finish down here is the decoration. We gotta get the trap doors up top just so it looks like a little bit more textured. And, of course, it's raining. Let's actually just move all of these goats outside here. Or inside, rather. Look, come on, guys. Let's go. Whoa, what's happening over here? Okay, there we go. Let's go this way. Come on, guys. Welcome to your humble abode. It's not much yet, but it will be something someday. You guys just chill right here for now. I'm going to block you guys in. With the bottom floor being calcite, the second floor being cherry wood, I think I want it to be a little bit of a different texture on the third floor or just what is above the spruce lining here. 
So I was thinking on our way up, actually, I did like how we use the composters as walls in the fox den. And so if we did it over here as well with the goat sanctuary, I feel like that only makes sense. We are going to do the roof up here, though. We're going to most likely start off with these campfires. I am kind of addicted to putting these on the roofs. For me right now, they just make everything look a lot more full. And then I think what we're going to end up using for the roof is the jungle stairs. Because I think they just, with a nice mixture, they, to me, they're like a mixture of oak and cherry at the same time. So with a little bit of the pink tint, I think it's going to look good with the cherry wood. I don't necessarily want to finish this yet until I know what it looks like from afar. We actually took out all the trees over here on this side too, so I could get a good look. And not bad, actually. I do love that. Composter on top, cherry wood in the middle, and calcite on the bottom. Now, I feel like we got to get the windows in on the cherry wood. I think maybe oak wood. Now, something we usually don't use are the birch trap doors. So I'm actually going to go over here and see what these end up looking like. And you know what? Not too bad at all. I actually really like these. And it wouldn't be a classic build without one of the classic wall to fence to chain to lantern action here. And of course, we put one in the wrong spot. I kind of wanted to put a trap door here, so maybe we could have some lifted out like that. As far as the middle goes here, I think what we'll do, maybe, I don't know, maybe that right there would be a little bit too small. We could go out one more. Honestly, only one way to find out. We're just gonna have to build this thing up and see where it takes us. Looks like this might be the right size for the tower. We get a five by five here, and I actually like this a lot. We take a step back in our open field over here. What do we got? Honestly, yeah, that's looking nice. We'll have to decorate around in there more. And actually, speaking of, I did bring some flowering azalea leaves because I didn't know, I, maybe some cherry leaves would look good in there now that I'm thinking about it. But if I wanted to add a little bit of green to the build, I could bring in some flowers right about here. That's actually not too bad at all. We can go on all the sides with that. Fly over here. We got the azalea bushes. We got the birch trap doors. This is starting to look magnificent. Also, as far as this room goes, maybe I should... I kind of want to build some stairs for the goats, but I feel like if I open it up, they'll just jump up here and jump out. So maybe I just need to finish the roof before we end up doing anything in here. Close this back up for just a second. Actually, just for a little bit of natural lighting in here, I do have the glow berries on me. Let's go ahead and just plant these in front of all of the windows bone meal all this up for a little bit of ceiling light action and actually you know what i'm thinking it's time for a new goat you two back here in the corner let's make one two baby goats let's go all right so we got a baby goat right here we got a baby goat right here what's going on baby goats something is giving me major deja vu right now i don't know what it is about this build maybe just being in here with the goat i don't know what's going on but something's giving me deja ow dude oh god okay i'll leave i'll leave i'm okay they don't want me in here I'm gonna get out. I'm just gonna continue working on the roof because those guys do not want me inside right now. So I got this side here mostly done, but there's a couple things. I mean, obviously it's missing something on this row. I think the lectern is going to be the best option here. I haven't really used these as like any form of railing before, but I actually really do like the way that this looks. And there's actually a couple of spots that are missing detail here, and that is the birch button that's gonna come in for the saving of the day. Now, I think we are missing something. What we might want to do is put more trapdoors down. Can never have too many spruce trapdoors. And actually, what we'll do is go up here and place even more spruce trapdoors. Go every other. And then I think in between them, what we'll do is place some cherry saplings down. Actually, I think it's only right that we put a couple of ferns up here, too. And up top, I think a cherry sapling over there is only right. And if we go over here, I think me. Ooh, nope. I think a fern tucked right in there is only right. Gotta tuck those ferns, baby. The only thing that seems to be a little incomplete is actually just this little awning. So I think maybe, yeah, not going to be too bad. Actually, actually take that out. None of the wood types really match the color of this composter. So I think the campfire is going to be the move. Maybe a trap door right under it. Did the same thing actually all the way down here on the tower. I decided to try some new window awnings out. We got the campfire with the jungle trapdoor right below it and the spruce trapdoors on the side. This is actually a beachfront property right now because, uh, I mean, the grass is going up right to it. So we need to do a tad bit of landscaping. Let's actually just add quite a bit of grass over here. We could actually, now that I'm thinking about it, we could add a bunch of land all the way over here and make a little bit of a land bridge just to connect these two. A lot of potential builds over here as well. We could just do a regular bridge or just connecting it to make it one big island. That seems like a cool idea also. Decided to put a little bit of andesite mixed in with the stone bricks. I really do like that mixture. We got bing, we got bang, we got boom, bop, and that's a flag. While we're up here, I could show you. We got a window that I tucked in on the backside over here. I still need to actually get a bunch of trap doors right here because that looks really bare. We got smaller windows on this side of the building. I have one matching over here. 
And if we fly up to the other side, we can see that we have three windows on this side as well. I have them even over here, but I didn't put a window on the left side in the middle because this tower is taking up all this space. It's like half the ghosts just jumped upstairs. I'm thinking maybe taking out most of this floor for the interior might be the move because I kind of want to give them more of a natural interior. We might build up some cool looking rock areas. Okay, so let's start taking out the ceiling here real quick, and we'll actually make a natural landscape using stone and a site and some stone bricks. Ow, dude, why? Why are you hitting me? Starting this natural staircase up to the second floor here, we're actually going to add in some gravel and some tuff over here as well. Got some rocky areas built up in the corners also, but uh, this stairway over here with the slabs, it's not too bad. I'm trying to make it as smooth as possible, so we're trying to add some more andesite up here. And I'm actually just going to keep taking away this wood. I think we're going to make this as natural as possible. Which means time to add more glow berries in front of all of the windows. Light them up, light them up, light them up. I feel like we could even get a cherry sapling to grow right here. Let's see. Oh my god, that was right away. And did that go outside of the house? Looks like it barely did. Let's Okay, let's take these out real fast. Goat, goat. No, 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 no. Goat, you got to get back in, please. Sir, you got to go this way. I will not allow you to leave. And I'm going to put that here. Put that in. Sir, you cannot go anywhere. Okay, let's see if we can get some other trees up in here. Thinking if we open this area over here up too, we could probably get another cherry tree up in here. Got some hay bales throughout here just so they can have some food. But in here, we have an entirely natural landscape now for all these goats. And buddy, what are you looking at? Why do you keep looking at me? Go down here, give them a little bit more food, and maybe right here. And going up to the tippy top, adding some amethyst clusters up here would be kind of nice. Fly over here, add a couple of these down on the ground. Adding some wood piles in here, because everyone knows that goats love the wood piles. Also, I don't know a single goat on the planet that doesn't like a fern in a pot. Taking a step outside, we're working on just a couple of things. We have this campfire set up that I forgot to finish, and I think there's a couple more cherry trees that I wanted to plant back here as well. Um, around the outside, it looks a little bit bare. Now that we planted all of the grass back here, we got to get some foliage. What does this tree look like? And not too bad, buddy. I haven't made any pathways back here yet. I think the iron farm is going to go back here, and we need to build up something to this brand new nether portal, which, by the way, we actually did connect up if we go in here. We'll pop out right at the center of our nether hub. This is perfect, but it's kind of strange because now that... Now, yep, exactly. We have this guy right here. Where are you coming from, and where are you going? He's just the new nether fisherman. This is great, man. This is absolutely perfect. I also love this, too, because we can go all the way over here, and we have a brand new one that we had connected up. And this one right here takes us all the way to the incomplete auto storage system. So yeah, now we have more of an incentive to get this thing done. Popping back out though, I'm actually really glad that we have this build on the corner of this island. It's about time that we get to working over here. Let's go land on our nice fresh patch of open land and look at this. It's been a while since I've built a sanctuary like this. Looks like a starter house, but it's mainly just for the goats. Got a little witch hat rooftop on the tip of the tower in the middle, and I'm really, really enjoying the pink in the middle of the calcite and the composters. Just wanted to come over here, say thank you guys one more time for watching. I do appreciate y'all for the support. Hi everyone, Wax Fraud here, and welcome back to another hardcore episode. I believe we're on episode 42. Chilling over here back at the goat sanctuary that we had made last episode, and I appreciate you guys for watching that. Take a step back to the bare beach over here. Not too bad. I believe the goats are happy. We could fly over here real quick and just double check. Hop in here. Goats, where you at? What's up, goats? Are you happy? How about you? Uh, over here, are you happy? Happy enough to make a baby goat? Let's go. You know what? I think this baby goat over here is going to be Gary. That was one of my favorite uh, comments that you guys left in the last episode. And the other favorite that you guys had left was Gertrude. So now we have Gertrude, Gary. Guys, keep naming these goats, man. I'm loving all the name suggestions. Keep them coming. Been trying to get some goat horns to get some of these guys to run into the wall, but uh, they seem to be kind of ignoring me for the most part. He's looking at me. Is he going to do something? Oh, jeez. Okay. Yep. No, that didn't work. Oh, God, Gertrude, I didn't think it would be you. What are you doing up there, bud? How do you be? And oh, my God, did I hold up? One, okay, so one of these guys must have accidentally just hit the wall behind me while I was looking the other way. That is a deep note right there. Oh, my God. I think we may have already found this goat horn, but uh, there's plenty more to find. Look at all these goats. Baby goat, we'll come back for you. But yeah, thank you guys for watching that episode. If you did, actually, there's a couple more things that we need to name. If you guys remember from last episode, and you know what? Actually, I haven't been up here in a while. Is the Watchman's Watchman up here? 
Oh my god, it's a brand new dude. And another brand... There's three people up here now. Hold up. Let's see what's going on. The Watchman's Watchman. Nobody's up here. We don't recognize any of you. You're all unrecognizable. Brand new employees or a bunch of phonies. This guy won't even look at me. But we're going to actually hop down over here because there was a nice little pillager... Ca Ouch. Nice little pillager captain over here that we wanted to name. He's just been laying arrows into my head and shoulder for a good while now. And in my feet, I guess. My favorite name that you guys had suggested was actually Napoleon. So we're going to give this guy Napoleon. And you're always going to be here, dude. Until you run out of arrows, you're still going to be Napoleon. Just going to eat this carrot and uh, get back to normal. And you're just going to run out, dude. I don't know why you keep shooting. Sooner or later, you're not going to have anything to shoot at me. While we're over here, I want to show you guys what we did on episode 40 over here with the wood factory for the hanging signs. I actually cleaned up the path in front of it, so now we can have villagers start to take some of these jobs. We don't have to worry about any mob spawning over here. The LAs are hard at work. Everything over here is just looking nice now. We've been working hard on stream, and by the way, it's twitch.tv slash waxrod if you want to join anytime. We have been working hard on the live streams, getting everything nice and dapper over here. Look at all of these sniffers, man. I forget how big these guys are. Well, we might as well actually take a step in here, grab some of these pitcher plants while they're fully grown. And while we're over here, let's actually close out. I hope nothing escaped. I hope there's no camels out there just wandering in the wilderness. But uh, Camel Sanctuary, I'm trying to be... What's up, cameraman? How you doing? I'm trying to be over here. I'm trying to make some more camels. You take a cactus, and how about you over here? You take a cactus. Slowly but surely, they will walk together and they will make a baby camel. This is the slowest walk to make a baby camel that I have ever seen in my life. Wow, that was about 20 seconds that I had to stand here to wait for this. There you go. What's up, buddy? Hi and down he goes. You guys actually have been throwing out a lot of camel names, and one that I liked was Coco, so we're going to put Coco Red here. Look at the smile on Coco's face. How you doing, bud? And I know we have been naming a lot of mobs already this episode, but there's actually one more that people have been mentioning in the comment section. There's a horse in front of my house with no name, and uh, I think that uh, a couple comments that I've seen, it's actually kind of funny to me. They hit me right in the funny bone, and that's just horse without an E. There you go. What's up, horse? How you doing? It'll just be me and you, bud. It'll just be me and you. So I've been losing some villagers in this town, and I kind of figured out why. We'll fly right over to a well that we had made by the Dripstone Farm. I think I may have shown you guys this before, but now the problem has, I think, maybe tripled. There's a lot of villagers in here, man. Why? Why are there so many villagers in here? I don't know. I started pointing my arrow at them because I want to get this iron golem out. If I'm going to get these guys out safely, I might need to, uh, you know, get this guy out of here first. This guy just keeps... This guy right here just keeps jumping up and... Oh, God, he almost did it again. Sir, if you jump up, if you keep doing that, you are going to get hit. This iron golem only wants to hit me right now. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I think I may have accidentally got the villager, but uh, it's all right. We got the iron golem. There's a cow in here, too. I'm sorry, cow. You know, I feel like we could let some of these guys out. Okay, so let's just take this, and I'll take this, and then, all right, one by one, I'll let you guys out, but uh, also, actually, every other one, you get this. Yep. Next person's gone. Good job. And next person out. Goodbye. Next person out. Good job. Next person out. Goodbye. Looks like these guys don't even want to leave the well, really, so, and, you know, the cow wants to leave. Get out of here, bud. You can get, there you go. Good job. You, sir, are gone. You, sir, are gone. You, sir are gone. I didn't want to do the villager purge like this, but it had to be done. I'm super sorry, bud. There we go. Now we have the villagers reintegrating into society. I knew we had some villagers on this side of the town that were missing. It was feeling kind of empty. But now it's most definitely not. We got villagers just standing on top of bushes. We got a surplus of villagers over here now. There's actually also one more reason why some of the villagers are missing. If we fly over to where the goat sanctuary is over here, the nether portal that I had built, uh, we need to build some stuff around it. We might need to cage this off because I think there's been some villagers that have been going in here. Hop out and yep, yep, we still have some fishermen over here. These guys have just been going back and forth. Last time I found them, they were on the nether portal island. Also, Clarique over here, he's been here since like episode three. We definitely need to get him back home. This chicken's in here now too, sir. You do not belong. You know what? I will let, I'll allow it. I'll allow you to be in here though. While I'm here though, gathering all of this glass to make these hallways, it, uh, it took a while and I had to actually smelt a lot of it using blaze rods. So we might as well head back to the blaze farm for a little bit while I'm in the nether right now. I'm gonna fly over this way right past the frog light farm. And now I'm actually thinking I never made myself a path over to this little area where the blaze farm is. Let's jump down real quick. I mean, it's only like a couple hundred blocks. We could just connect to this hallway, take a right at the frog light farm instead of a left here. Not a bad idea. You know what? I think we should just get that connected right now. 
I think maybe a Twitch stream or two could actually get this job done right here. This blaze farm is looking a little empty too. We can make these walls look pretty good. Remember on stream too, I put another portal here thinking it was a good idea. And I was like, yeah, I'll just connect it back to my home. And uh, nope, I'm out in the middle of the ocean uh, in the middle of nowhere. This thing uh, actually is useless. We are flying down here and boom, we have stopped. We got some torch flowers to signify the beginning of a right turn here. And we are going to fly all the way over to the entrance. We got an ender chest right here to stop us. I might as well take some of this stuff out. Actually, some of the leads I'm keeping in here because some of the frogs, while building this on stream, we had some of the frogs escape from the frog light farm down there. And uh, so I figured, you know what? We need to keep some surplus leads in here because they'd be escaping. But we did actually make this place look a lot cozier. So now when we chill in here, we have a nice safe area over here. I don't think anything's going to actually get into the hallway. We made it non-spawnable. But now at least we have a nice cozy spot to be able to slash and hack at some of these guys. Thank you for the blaze rod, sir. I do appreciate it. And we actually do have a bunch of them already to take back. Got the torch flowers hanging in here, also in the sides, because, you know, I feel like the torch flowers match the fiery blazes. And we actually tucked the nether portal all the way back here instead of right next to it, so we don't have to listen to this sound the whole time. Grab a couple more blaze rods, and actually, let's just head out. I wanted to uh, go back home. Let's try to start the build. Never gonna get over how quickly we get home over here. Oh my god, out of the corner of my eye, I saw a little villager over there. Look at that guy. Look at him! It's a jungle villager. I'm gonna have to actually get all the way down through the tunnel this way. Let's go over here. Let's hop up and fly over. Sir, I think we need to save you. Sir, hello. What are you doing here? You can't be here. We're gonna do what we need to do to get this guy home safely. Hoglins are everywhere. Let's make a nice little staircase. And this guy just fell. Sir, what? No. I had a perfect staircase leading to a perfect little doorway for him and he just decided to leave. Oh, he's all the way over there. Dude, what are you doing? This guy keeps running away to the farthest corner of the nether. I have, there's actually, I don't think, I don't even think he wants to go home. I think he actually likes the nether. So you know what? You can stay up here, man. This guy just, ow. Okay, no, we're not playing that right now. I'm going to chill over here and you're going to chill down. Okay, he just needs to, got immediately distracted and yeeted by the hoglin. Dude, you should have just been attacking me instead. The hoglin also over here. Sir, what are you doing? You got to get out. Okay, that's enough nether shenanigans. Let's go back home. This guy's making himself right at home. Sir, do you need help? Do, do you need help, sir? Do you need help? I don't know how to help you other than that. And all right, I'll see you later. One of the fishermen actually just came out and took this bed, sir. I hope you enjoy yourself here because you're not going to be able to really leave this island. Lying back home, we got a goal board right here, and we had a couple things that we could be working on. We have a donkey, we have the cat sanctuary, kelp farm, sweet berry farm, toolsmith trading hall, leather worker trading hall, and a glow squid farm. Some of these are a little bit more important than others, but uh, I'm actually thinking, you guys have been asking in the comment section about a cat sanctuary for a good while now, so you know what? Let's get that done today, and do not have enough room to pick that up. Let's, uh, let's get all the materials necessary to build a cat sanctuary. We might actually have already half of the cats. I know we have a dog right there. Oh, we have a black cat right here. We have the tan cat right here. Get you up off the ground. We got to get this other cat. Actually, wait, we'll leave one cat here on the bed, but we'll get you up. And that guy's been looking at this wall since like episode one, I think. We got to we gotta get these cats out of here. Looks like you're an outdoor cat now, buddy. What are you going to do? Gonna enjoy your life, bud? You better enjoy it. I'm thinking we should probably build the cat sanctuary maybe in this little area right here next to the torch flower farm, but there's also a little bit of empty space over here as well. Wait a second. This is a camel. Hold up a sec. Buddy, what are you doing here? And taking a nap right there. Love it, dude. This is, you know what? That's great. You don't have to be in the sanctuary if you don't really want to. These guys are big enough that they're pretty easy to find. I think there's there's gotta be another one around here somewhere though, because a couple of them are missing. This is going to be a little bit of a different color palette, though. We're going to start with the stone on the bottom. I want to see what it looks like when we have the spruce wood with acacia planks behind it. I think spruce wood looks great, but uh, I want to see what it looks like stripped with this orange wood. Oh, you know what? That's not that bad. I think if we get a little bit of birch wood in here, too, I think that'd look great. Get all this worked out. Nothing like a quick twitch stream can't handle. This camel has been moving and grooving. He's all the way over here next to the weaponsmith trading hall with a smile on his face, too. But what we did actually was decide on stream to move over right next to the shulker box storage hall and the weaponsmith trading hall that uh, right now we're using all of the colors of the cats that we have so far. We have the black for the black cat down there on the deep slate. The orange cat down there is with the acacia in the middle. And then we also have this tan cat right here, which kind of closely resembles the birch wood to me. So we're going to hop along the side here. I actually just wanted to get the birch fences below some of these deep slate walls. 
And I think when we're looking at this side of the building, it is pretty bare. I think I'm going to go up. Uh, we could probably decide to put some of the stairs right here and put the walls below it with the birch fence below that. And you know what? Yeah, that's not bad at all. Now, something that I've been doing on most of the builds is putting the campfires on the stone on the edge of the build like so right here, covering this up with the trap doors. But what we haven't done is make an open room, kind of like what we have right here, and use basalt for the top layer of this build. So we actually ended up with a huge surplus of basalt when we were connecting up all those portals and in the nether highway. So actually, I'm thinking that the cobbled deep slate is the closest stair block because there's no basalt stairs. Minecraft, please give us basalt stairs. No, there's a white cat out there and there is a third floor worth of blocks we need to put on. So I think calcite is what we'll put up there. If we fly around here, I know for the roof, the tan cat, it kind of does have some birch qualities, but it also has these oak qualities. And there goes that. I need to get rid of some of the stuff in my inventory. But I'm thinking oak is the way to go. And oh my gosh, this is loud. I need to take some of these out. This is kind of about to be like the hanging sign factory where we use pretty much every single wood type, except we don't really have a pink cat, so we're probably not going to use pink cherry wood. The only one right now that we're kind of leaving out is dark oak wood, but, uh, you know, we'll find a place later on for it. Gotta take these noisy troublemakers out, too. The oak's looking good up here and on the lower level roof, but I think we're gonna have to add some more birch. I actually have some huge lines of birch all the way back here. We need to strip them because, uh, yeah, it's time to make some more hanging signs. Giving you a sneak peek into some of the manual labor that we got going on here. But it's all in the name of hanging signs. We're just going to go boop right there. We'll go boop right there. I think birch hanging signs are my favorite hanging signs. We have been stripping birch wood like every other day. Coming in here to the interior. It's not much yet, actually. Pretty much it's, it's nothing. But I want to do something a little bit more natural like what we did with the goats. This episode was super fun and I would love to do something similar for the cats. You know what? Speaking of cats, I, I only have three. We got to go out and look for more, man. Coming back home here. It looks like we actually only have some raw salmon on us, but this should do. This is probably enough to go get the rest of the cats. I know there's some cats that are spawning somewhere in my village, but it's going to take a while to just run around and find them. I, I hear some meows every now and then, but I honestly can't find them, and they might have spawned like underground somewhere, so that's going to be a little difficult. So I'm probably actually just going to fly to some villages. There's that savannah village that I could go to right over here. Actually, you know what? Quick detour. I know for a fact that there are some cats at the desert village. This also gives us a reason to fly right over Rainbow Mountain. What's going on, Rainbow Mountain? It's long time no see. I haven't been over here in a while, even on stream. I haven't been on stream on Rainbow Mountain in about a month. I was hacking away at the work here for a good while, and I just needed to give myself a little bit of a break. Also, we were kind of starting to run out of wool, so I'm glad that we kind of stopped because now we can replenish up our surplus. Now, there should be a cat here. I remember a bunch of meows happening when I was setting up this villager transport system. These guys are caught on the rails and caught up in love. Look at that. This is amazing. Sometimes the cats in desert villages venture out because they'll see the bunnies and they will just go. Yeah, and I'm not really seeing any cats here. Okay, we're going to the savannah village. We used a bunch of cats for the creeper farm, but, you know, we can find those cats again. I'm not finding a cat in the savannah village either. What is going on here? strange too because there's a bunch of villagers here and uh, no cat in sight except for one cat on the ledge down there my buddy i have found you let's save you here we go so while you actually can't move anywhere i'm going to come down here and give you some actually wait am i going to eat the salmon kitty eat the salmon yeah all right we, we made a friend take this down here oh no kitty come back Okay, never mind. He's chilling right here. Just stay there, but okay, get up and follow me. Do not be down in this cave anymore. Nice. We have officially saved a cat. What's going on? I know if you use an elytra, like sometimes the animals have a hard time following you, but if I like just do quick short trips like that with the elytra, eh, oh wow, that is a teleporting cat right there. Let's do some elytra hops is what we're going to call it right here. Where's the cat? He's right here, let's go! We are running right past the floating wheat field. What's up, chicken? How you doing over there? But, uh, yeah, I actually remembered that we have a cat that's all the way out here in the ocean. We gotta get you out here too, bud. Camel's still over here holding his head high and mighty. What's going on, dude? I'm just gonna let this guy roam free. He just be doing whatever he wants to do, pretty much wherever he wants to do it. But uh, let's go add the cat to the collection over here. The brown cat somehow got lost on the way, but uh, it is what it is. It'll, it'll, it'll somehow teleport here. Now we do have some white on the cat here, so I feel like it's only right to get to the third floor with some calcite. We'll actually just put some right here. We'll move up and go up right here, and I think that's what we're going to need. Block it up on this side as well, and man, the sound of placing calcite is just amazing. 
Well, I don't know how this happened, but this camel right here, he is looking fabulous. Look at that guy. Just does whatever he wants, whenever he wants to do it. I'm gonna, you know what? I'm gonna leave him there. I was gonna let him down, but we'll just leave him there for now. You are a spectacle, sir. You are an absolute spectacle. We have one brown, one orange, one black cat, one tan cat, and one cat that's a little bit of a mixture of all of them. And on stream today, I found a cat that I had completely forgotten about. Look at this guy right in the front. Sir, what are you doing? Come with me. There's probably a couple cats like around the town that I had tamed recently and or just a long time ago and had completely forgotten about them. Bring this cat back home with the camel and the other cats, but uh, we actually have the exterior done for the most part. I think I was actually going to take a lot of this down and get some stairs up over here. Over here could be the official entrance from the side of the road, and I just broke that melon. Get all this stuff out of the way here, and give ourselves an official entrance into this sanctuary. Also, before I can call the exterior done, I think the roof over here it is looking a little plain. Normally I use a lot of different trapdoors up here, but I used about half of what I normally do. So I'm going to come up with a different trapdoor. I do think the jungle trapdoors look good in between the oaks, so if it grows on me, then great. And if it doesn't, then I will just take them back down, but at least we tried it. I also have a brand new style that I was trying out today where the stairs are alternating between the campfires on the bottom row. I almost forgot we can't call the exterior done until all of these empty plant pots have an oxidaisy in them. This camel wants to be in this build so bad. Sorry, sir. We already did a camel sanctuary. We gotta do the cat sanctuary today. Now, as far as the interior goes, like I mentioned earlier, we're gonna try to get it a little bit more natural, kind of like the goat sanctuary. So we'll probably do a little bit of a dirt stairway mixed in with a little bit of moss here and there but I feel like this will be nice for the cats. I also wanted to make some areas where the cats can literally hang out. Like if we actually bring some of the fences down here like this and get some of the trap doors like this right here. All right, okay, okay there you are. All right, let's uh, sit you down here. I'm just gonna push you right over onto the jungle trap door and this is going to be your swing. We've got the chains on it now, get a little bit of light up in here. This is gonna be the first of many hanging cat trees. This guy's absolutely loving it. As a part of our grand entrance, I decided to put some azalea bushes on top of some flowering azalea leaves, and we're gonna go over this way. I decided, uh, let's not go with the all-natural staircase, let's just go with the stone, I thought it might look a little bit better. Needed to put a little bit more decoration over here, so I'm gonna put some candles on each side over here. What I did was actually connect from the ceiling a cat tree that goes all the way down to the bottom, to the ground down here. Got some cats that we already moved in, and the ocelot I tied up, because you can't really tame these guys, and I know they do break leads because I had another ocelot right here that I caught on stream, and it escaped and I caught the lead, but I don't have the ocelot, and I don't know where he went. Because we have gates in here, and that means the ocelot jumped over the gates. I don't even know where that guy possibly could have gone. But let's go outside real fast, and let's bring some of those cats inside. We have all of the cats here still, except for a few of them. I know we don't have the British short hair. We also don't have the white cat yet, but, uh, you know, we can always go out and look for that. We have all the time in the world, and in the meantime, we can just make some more cats. Let's just uh, take this right here. Take You know what? Let's just make a bunch of baby kittens. Baby kittens all day. Let's go, dude. Let's see if we can get all of these cats to follow me inside here. And there we go. So what I'm going to do is actually climb up the scaffolding and see if we can get some of these cats to hang out on these spruce trap doors. Come up here, cats. Get up here. See all these guys trying to get up, but it really is. Oh, yes. okay. Hold on. We're going to get you sat down. These tiny kittens are absolutely perfect. I always forget that these are in the game. Honestly, baby turtles are. I always say those are my favorite mob, but I mean, how can you forget about the kitten? And we just have an absurd amount of meowing going on in this place. I'm actually going to head out for a moment just to get one last look at the exterior here. And I am just going to leave this guy here. I'm not, I can't get over that. This is amazing. Note to self in the future, camels can climb scaffolding. Take a flight out this way and take a step back. And yes, dude, I am so glad we finally have a build here. It's so nice to have something that fills this space. It's been empty for so long, and we've just been kind of neglecting this little area. This is perfect. Do we have any bone? Oh, we do have bone meal. Perfection. Let's just go ahead and take a lap around this building. Did want to thank you guys again for all the support. Thank you for becoming a YouTube member if you are, and thanks for joining the Patreon if you did. That's going to be it for the 6,000 days video recap. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, twitch.tv slash waxfraud if you guys want to catch any live stream. Thanks for joining the Patreon if you did, and thanks for becoming a YouTube member if you are. Really do appreciate all the support, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and do something nice for somebody. Bye.